Welcome to the Geeks Attic. Guys, we are live with a few guests here on the channel to talk about toys, games. Well, I don't know about games, but uh, toys, books, and other stuff. Usually Star Wars finds its way in here. Uh, we've got Jeremy from Stupid Chainsaw Productions or out from the outhouse right now. Yeah. <laughs> nice name there, Jeremy. Thank you. And we also have, you know, yeah. now we have Adam from Bryant's Nerd Pub. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> hey, guys. So one of, our, one of our fellow um, Star Wars fellows has, uh, I know I said fellows twice, three times, is doing a video as we speak right now. That's fine. That's fine. We're going to talk something completely different. Totally Autism has joined us. Hey, Thank quality. you for leaving that, that poser stream and joining the real stream right now. Quality? You are quality. I'm drinking water. And I like that little video there that you did about uh, Heir to the Jedi. It's a wonderful review that I I did. Jeffrey joining us in the comments. Hey, Jeffrey. Guys, we're going to show you some books and some toys that I got. And these fellows joining me. What, what's with me saying fellow all, of the t all the time tonight? It's, I don't get I it. I think you're drunk. No. Yeah. Nope. I'm not. Um, <laughs> that comes later. Yeah. <laughs> not yet. No. Um, so first, out in February, it was before February, I think it was just last year, uh, Kenner or Hasbro announced that they're going to do more Ghostbuster toys, and Walmart was going to do an exclusive release of, uh, re I guess, replicas of oh, real God. Ghostbuster figures, okay? Um, in February, go ahead. Can we get into the fact that Hasbro is a terrible company when it comes to distribution? We will definitely get into that here in a minute. Okay. Because uh, that's what I was, I was just about to build into that uh, with uh, in February. Pre-orders on Walmart went live for the exclusive figures. And that's also when the uh, this Plasma series of Ghostbuster figures came out. Um, well, pre-orders went live there. But you can pre-order that on Amazon, Target, everywhere that you can pre-order toys. You can get those. But the real Ghostbusters toys from, you know, figures from the cartoon Ghostbusters were able to be purchased um well all these delays started to happen you'd get emails this figure's backed up this figure's backed up okay um in june they were supposed to come out like june 2nd well only one figure showed up okay um in a giant box like a really big box i'm like what is this giant box but one thing shipped um and then throughout the month of june more boxes trickled in. Each box had one figure inside. They were all giant. I sent a picture to these guys, and they could they could tell you it was a lot of boxes. Yeah, box. it was one figure a box. Yes. And um, today, actually, I found a video by somebody. Um, I wish I could remember his name. Uh, it just popped up in my feed uh, about these figures, and he goes into a lot more detail about the whole situation with Walmart and how crappy they handled this situation. Um, his figures came in little floppy envelopes, like the bubble wrap envelopes and boxes were torn up. Uh, they even sent one of his figures folded in half, the packaging <laughs> folded in half and shoved in a tiny box. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, I was just like, well, thankfully that didn't happen to me. <laughs> um, yeah. There was this huge issue where they, uh, I, I got a hold of the customer service. I was like, Hey guys, um, pre-order isn't here yet. It's like the 20th or something of June. It was, it was late. It was far past delivery time. And, uh, they're like, Oh, well maybe if you cancel your order, uh, we'll be able to reship, uh, you can reorder them. So I was like, let me check your stock first. And I'd go research and yeah, they were out of stock. So who knows if they were going to do more runs with this. I don't know if it was just like a limited time, like so many are printed out or created, you know, then sold. And that's the end of it. Um, but eventually my order got canceled, not by me, but by Walmart. And then it got reapplied. Okay. So then like multiple figures started showing up to my house. Um, and then I'll charge my card. So I had like three sets of everything. Um, <laughs> so I got, and it's expensive. It's like 16 something a, a piece after taxes. Um, oh, yeah. So, you know, it's like my credit card and like went through the roof. <laughs> um, but I have a whole set and a few others. Um, 
like eight, I believe eight figures need to go back. I'm going to take those. I don't know if I'm going to take them back to Walmart. I'm going to try a couple of stores like uh, a vintage stock and see if they'll take them because they usually base their price off of eBay prices. Yeah. And eBay prices for these real Ghostbuster figures are pretty high. Yeah. So I'm thinking maybe I'll go try them out first before I go to Walmart and see if I can get my return. So maybe I can make a little bit of money off of that. <laughs> yeah, I was in vintage stock the other day and they were um they were selling those figures for a pretty pretty decent price. So Yeah, yeah, those the ones that you showed me uh yeah, those were the plasma fear uh series. Oh, the they more were realistic oh. um figures. Yeah, the real Ghostbusters are based off the cartoon. I'll show you guys. I, I have them all here that I'd like to show you guys here in a minute. But uh Jeremy, what were you going to say about uh Hasbro and their So Hasbro has I don't know how they're stole company. If I can be completely honest right now, their mishandling of all of their properties is truly baffling. I mean, we were talking about on another stream what they're doing with the Black Series and Star Wars right now with that terrible Bespin playset mm. where it's fifty dollars and it looks like if you you blew on it hard, it would break in half. <laughs> and then it's yeah. only half a playset, and it's, it's so you're going to spend a hundred dollars for this chintzy tiny carbon freezing chamber that literally was posed with a bunch of figures that haven't been out since the legacy collection before disney bought out star wars um gi joe's another example where they've basically killed gi joe like those were some of the best figures back in the day yeah well the they're non-existent now yeah but I, I'm not a fan of releasing the vintage figures again. Like uh, they're oh, doing it with vintage packaging with like the Star Wars Black Series. No, I'm talking. They've straight up re-released the original Kenner figures again. Oh wow! Which it's like, why? Why even bother at that point? Because like they aren't going to be worth anything. That's true. I guess some people, it's probably that nostalgia. Um, I, I don't know why people would want, like me, like I've I talked with you guys privately. Uh, Adam was going through a store and uh, was looking at some, some figures. And I was just like thinking like, man, I have no interest in purchasing figures anymore for Star Wars. Um, yet they had a couple cool ones in the past, like the Black Series stuff, even like just the action figures for like the movies and all that. Um, yeah, I bought... Uh, Luke Skywalker from episode eight or no, which movie? I don't even remember what movie he was in. I guess he was the, he was in episode eight. I think I have the last Jedi Luke. Um, and, um, I have Kylo Ren when force awakens came out and that's all I have from the new, uh, new movies with like the basic three inch figures. Yeah. The new, the new Canon toys are a joke. No one's buying them. Mm -mm. And that's been a thing for a while. Now, I'm talking like, uh, well, first of all, the Black Series went down in quality as soon as like the Disney buyout happened. Yeah. When they just started putting everyone as a Black Series figure. Yeah. It was, it was terrible. I mean, we were getting pretty good with like, not the not the six, the six inches were incredible. I'm talking the 3.75 inch, the standard action figure size for Star Wars. Mm-hmm. I mean, they were le releasing like EU characters, like characters we'd never seen before. Darth Plagueis got a release. Darth Malgus, oh, um, Bastila, Stark. I mean, Star Killer got re-released for Force Unleashed Two. Star Killer, not Force Unleashed One. Did they release? Haven't they released Revan recently? Oh yeah, that was a few years ago now. Oh they, okay, I thought it was. Thing. Well, they've done two Revans, which. Because Revan's now a new canon character as well. Yeah, he's got like two figures. Yeah, because everyone's a big fan of Revan. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to say anything about that because last time I said something about like being a fan of a character that I'm not a fan on, I spent a good week dealing with that said person. Mm, so yeah. I will no longer do that. <laughs> but, um, I. <laughs> Jaina Solo did too, but Jaina Solo was a terrible looking figure. Yeah. Uh, they, I, uh, they intentionally made that one bad, though. 
You think? Oh, because it's Legends. They wanted to uh, push their stuff over Legends, huh? Yeah, I mean, everything's gotten a six-inch Black Series figure, and they don't look good. They haven't looked good in years. Well, and here's the funny thing, too. Um, They've changed the packaging once again. You know that, right? Yeah. I I don't know when they're going to start releasing these things, but they're going to start pushing out a new package. So all those, how they all fit on your shelf now, like looking cool and nice, which I have some figures that I like. I thought looked really cool. It's like I have to have that one because it just looks so good. Like the Mimbin Stormtrooper, I thought he was awesome looking. I think that was a Walmart exclusive. Um, yeah. You know, you Thrawn. Of course, you're gonna get Thrawn because you know it's Thrawn. Um, <laughs> and then yeah, I have Jaina Solo because you know it was like, oh look, a Legends character. Let's go buy the Legend stuff so they know we want it. Legends. So um, you know, I have the Mandalorian and the Carbon. I guess it, I, they called it something Carbon Paint. The shiny, kit. the shiny one. It looks really good. It looks really good. But now they're going to be re-releasing him again in the new packaging. So I think days of collecting that stuff, which were already pretty limited for me, um, are, well, now completely over because I'm not going to spend more money on toys that I don't need, really, for one, other than, you know, the ones I'm about to show you. (laughs) Yeah. uh, Uh, Go ahead. When we get the Ghostbusters uh, figures, not the not the real Ghostbusters ones, the plasma, the, movie, the plasma ones, those were weird release, and what they came with was weird. It was like it was so bizarre with the moldings; mm-hmm. they were 50-50. Like some of them look incredible, but some of them look like garbage, and it okay. really just depends. Like, yeah, there's uh, I've seen pictures posted where people like have these figures in the hand, and they're like, you know, it's in the box. They're in the, you can see the store behind them. I don't know if people Photoshop or what it doesn't. I, I doubt people are Photoshopping this stuff because, you know, why would you? But they take a picture of it and like the face is completely like melted in and just it's like, what in the world happened? And how did it make it in the box to like, do people not inspect this stuff anymore? Yeah, there was like no quality control. And but, also, yeah, when we get to when you, I'm assuming you got those, right? I have a lot of stuff to show you. Okay. Let's let's get into it. So okay. I can commentate. All right. Well, um, and I want to tell you too the uh, packaging on the real Ghostbuster stuff. They screwed. They didn't. They started producing these things before they actually had the rights, because apparently the phrasing "Who you gonna call" is also a license that they you need that you need to purchase to put it on your stuff. Oh, and they didn't have that when they first started pushing out the toys which sucks for all the people that pre-ordered the stuff because you'd think, oh, they pre-ordered these figures. Let's give them the good ones that, you know, obviously pre-order people are hardcore fans, right? You, you want these figures to look good and to be how they're supposed to be. So yeah, I have um, just one figure with uh, the Who You Gonna Call package. Um, here we have, I want to go ahead and blow my screen up to show you guys these things. Here we have Egon. Oh, it nice! It comes with a, you know, a little yellow ghost, and it, it actually goes on his head, uh, or it can go on his head. Uh, I don't know. I did that as a kid. I don't know if other people <laughs> did, but on the back it says Egon Spengler and Gulpler Ghost. Um, and here's the back of that box. If you could see that, you know, there's you got, there's the this is the first phase they called it phase one. I don't know what else they're gonna do with this, but uh, there's a lot of figures out there. I have a lot of them. At my parents' house, it's they actually. My dad got up in his attic and found a box full of all my original ones. Um, but I got these to to put in my office at work because they're just, you know me. I'm a Ghostbuster. I'm a hardcore fan. But you got the Stay Push, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, and they call Slimer the Green Ghost. Um, but yeah, I actually have a set that I gave my kid uh, kids, and they open those up and they love them. Um, are they? Are they the real Ghostbusters that you squeeze them and they have the weird expressions? No, these are just like the original uh, mainline okay. characters. Uh, this is Ray, Ray Stance, and you can see here they don't have like what Egon had. His bubble says, "I ain't afraid of no ghost." That that oh. was the phrasing. That was the phrasing I meant to say. And this one says, "I ain't afraid of no ghost." Um. It doesn't have the uh, who you gonna call? Who you gonna call is what they needed a license for. I'm guessing because of the song. Um, but yeah, there's Ray. He comes with a little purple ghost, and all these, all this wording here. I know my camera is horrible. It won't focus in on 
words and stuff, but this is all a bunch of foreign languages here. Uh, there's, oh. a little, there's a little instruction booklet in here. Um, sorry, right there. And that's in uh, more foreign languages. And the pack, the back is actually a little bit different too. You see that? Instructions on how oh. to make the figure. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this one does not. Just a bunch of gibberish. So that kind of sucks, you know? These packages are huge. These are huge yeah. cards. Yeah. yeah. And, and the boxes that they came in were ginormous. Yeah, I remember that. So imagine getting one of these and it's folded in half. And like even like you know the thing would be folded in half and broken. Uh, yeah, here, the accessories would be broken at that yeah. point. Yeah, and then here's Peter Venkman. See, uh, comes with a little blue ghost. I always love these ghosts. And when my kids opened up theirs, uh, like just like holding them in my hand, it, it's like that nostalgia. Is like, oh man, I remember these when I was a kid. I hate to interrupt you, but I like Quality Autism's comment: "The geek's dad's addict." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, that's part of the reason I named it. It's just like all in my nerd stuff is like in my attic or in my parents' attic, um, which I believe I have a power of the force millennium Falcon. Nice. Hopefully that's still over there. And when I, if it is, I'll get it back. I'll show you guys that, but uh, here we have Winston Zedmore. Uh, I, I love this. My, uh, my oldest, my five-year-old Winston is actually his favorite character. <laughs> um, <laughs> And for his kindergarten graduation, I know that uh, I posted the video on my channel, but we had a cameo video from um, Ernie Hudson congratulating him on his kindergarten graduation and did a little shout out to my other two kids, um, told them that they were all honorary Ghostbusters, which is really cool. Here we have, yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead. Well, I was just going to tell everyone that uh, that that video actually made the news for like a few days out here in Oklahoma. So yes. that was really cool. Yeah. I don't think I ever mentioned that Yeah, It made several uh, local news channels and uh, actually made it on yahoo news.com and a couple other <laughs> um, big media sites. It's pretty crazy. Um, I was wrong. My green ghost also has who you're going to call. So that's good. Uh, he comes with a couple accessories here, like a steak pizza and a watermelon. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Me yeah, and Kelsey um, uh, actually discussed going as Halloween as Ghostbusters and dressing our daughter up as Slimer. Heck yeah. See, I got a proton pack back there. See that? Nice. I, I got That's connections. <laughs> <laughs> and here I have the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. And that one has who you're going to call as well. So that's good. But yeah, that was the, that's the first line. Um, I love that little artwork up there of the Ghostbusters shooting him from the top of a roof. <laughs> um, glad I have those. That's cool. Uh, like I said, I don't know if there's going to be any uh, wave two or not. Um, let me throw you guys back. Oh, hi. Before, ah, I hate that. Before I uh, grab these other figures, did you guys have something that you wanted to show? I have one. Go ahead. I have one as well. Well, let me get to the comments real quick. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we go have for Small it. time uh, says, I had a couple of other Ghostbuster action figures as a kid. I was confused why they weren't from the movies. Yeah, they never released official movie licensed figures. Mm -hmm. It's weird um, until, you know, later on down the road, there's all these collectible figures. Uh, Christopher Nelson. Hey, Chris. Um, I had Ernie Hudson do a cameo for my kid's graduation as well. <laughs> That's awesome. Unfortunately, there was some miscommunication and he addressed her as his character from Oz on HBO. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. That's a bummer. Um, but yeah, I was surprised about how uh, he really outdid himself on that uh, our, uh, cameo thing. He did like a full minute and 30 seconds. Um, a lot of those other cameo people I saw like previews of what they do for their videos and they'll do like 20 seconds, you know, like, Hey, it's so-and-so from so-and-so your girlfriend wanted me to say hi. And I was like, how lame is that? Um, but yeah, I have actually, his cameo is on my video that I have posted as my, uh, my kindergarten's graduation thing that we made, but, uh, quality autism. He just kicked himself from his own stream. Yep, I did, but I'm back. And now Adam has something to show. Well, uh, like I said, I was in Vintage Stock the other day, and I was showing them all the Star Wars toys that they had there, and they were like, on our video messaging, we were like, they were like, hey, go back to that table, we saw something. So, um, Matthew actually looked this up on eBay, and both him and Jeremy said that they didn't know, they had never seen this figure before, so uh, it is Dash Rendar. Yeah, Christopher might know a little bit more about this figure if he's still here. 
Yeah, I got this for four dollars, and it is not made by Disney. It, I think, it's pretty. Uh, uh, it's copyright nineteen ninety six. So, um, so yeah, it's only his one arm moves, right? Yeah, only this arm moves. Hmm. And so, Matthew then messaged me saying, "Hey, you should buy it and then sell it online because it's going on eBay for twenty bucks." And then Jeremy immediately uh, replied with, "Hey, Adam, if you buy that for me, I'll give you twenty bucks." <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is actually going to Jeremy soon. Uh, happy uh, housewarming, Jeremy. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, yeah. yeah. Who is the maker of that? Does it say on the tag who makes that? Uh, applause or, or hold on. Here, I'll just show you the tag here. Yeah. Applause. Applause. I think they did some of the... Um, hmm. Join the Star Wars movies. fan club. Okay. Yeah, uh, that would be probably a Star Wars insider thing. Yeah, I mean, it was. I just saw it. I was just like, wow, it's cheap. And I was just... And Jeremy's like, dibs. <laughs> yeah, then I offered him 30. So then, you know... <laughs> it turned into like Messenger <laughs> eBay. Yeah. But um, Jeremy, did you have any any toys? I like did. That? So on my stream that uh, these two ghosted me on, <laughs> all time to watch Predator. I said that I didn't own the Predator soundtrack. Well, the score. Whoa. So this, I forgot. I bought this three months ago before COVID happened, mm. and this is an imp an import from. Oh gosh, I'm trying to remember. Oh, like Nova Scotia? Really? Yeah, so he messaged me a month ago saying that he was having trouble getting things into America. And so this had to go to Japan and then go to America. That's crazy. But he he I'm I'm kind of mad. He put it in a paper envelope. And it, but it didn't get cracked, did it? Uh it broke that off. Oh, so now oh. the door but this is a rare one. This is the complete score. This is the unabridged like movie, mm -hmm. and it's one of only a thousand copies. That's awesome. Yeah, that's uh, really cool when you find something like that. Um, I have more figures. Okay. Um, well, first I'll show this thing. This isn't a figure, but uh, I saw it. they have them on Walmart. It was twenty bucks. It's a ghost trap. It's just oh, a, nice. Yeah, God. it has how um it's it was the only one sitting on the shelf. I know these are kind of getting hard to find too. I haven't actually turned it on, so I don't know if the batteries I heard the batteries are pretty limited on this thing. So yeah, the batteries are dead. Um it has a little belt clip. Which I don't know how I'm gonna do this when Halloween rolls around, I'm gonna wear it. I might have to seal up the the doors because they kind of flop open. I might maybe a little electrical tape or something on the black there yeah. so it doesn't fall off but it has a little uh clip for the belt but i think that's probably gonna snap <laughs> yeah so, <laughs> it, you know, it's just a cheap plastic so there's gotta probably be a way i could i don't know glue or get some other type of material uh, screws to put in like a metal bracket and maybe just put one of those um what are those things people use the the metal ring with a hook on it oh yeah uh, you know what i'm talking about that like, climbers use them yeah, yeah, yeah. A carabiner. Oh, yeah, carabiner. I might just get one of those uh, bolted in there or whatever. Oh. But um, the plasma series. These are the black series figures of of Ghostbusters. I have a lot of, to say about these. This is Egon Spangler. Nice. Um, the back. Okay, the back. I'll read the backs too. Um, I didn't know that it said stuff on the back. Egon Spangler, uh, the brains of the operation. Egon's your go-to guy for the best gear. And that's it. And then it goes to the foreign languages. But the one thing that I don't like about... I do like this cool um, artwork on the box there. I thought that was cool. Um, it would have been cooler if they put like this character on the top. So that way, like when they're on the... If you have them all on the shelf like, like this, you know which character you know is what by having it on the top. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That would have been kind of neat. But each each thing they come with, uh, he has a PKE meter in there, and they have a body part that turns into the terror dog. Um, mm -hmm. So you have to get them all in order to create that terror dog. Yes. But that that Spangler, 
I also have this like the, the my first order, my first pre order for these plasma figures was because I, I was debating on whether I'm going to get them or not. Had to get Egon because Harold Ramis, the guy, you know, the actor who played him, he died. Um, he's the only one from Ghostbusters that has died. Uh, and his merchandise is like worth three times every other character. So weird how that works, but it does. But then this was the other character I had to get Gozer. And nice. I mean, it comes with the terror dog head. I mean, I love the design of the terror dog. Um, it looks creepy. Gozer, the destructor and traveler. Gozer is the ancient evil with a lot of aliases. Yep. There are, she does have a lot of aliases, but I had to get this one too. This is the second one that I pre-ordered. The train's coming. Oh, hear that train rolling. Here's the one that does look a little goofy in my opinion, but uh, not as goofy as the one that I've seen other people post. Peter Bankman. He's got a leg. He comes with a trap. Um, and that's all. Yeah, that's all he comes with. His, his is the trap. Egon has the PKE meter. And Gozer just has lightning bolts that you can attach to her hands. Um, yeah. See, Peter Beckman, the man with the mouth. Peter can convince almost anybody of almost anything. So why does Peter come with the trap? He never carried the trap. I'll That's tell you why point. in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> um, it would have been funny if he would have come with some other equipment that they used. Um, or just came with what uh, we would have made sense. Has? Winston has, yeah, he has the uh, proton beam. And I have to say, he's the only one who has that, and I think that's ridiculous. And he's actually, it kind of, he looks really good, like, almost like Ernie Hudson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they did a good job on his figure. Um, yeah, he ha also comes with a, a leg. I think it's a, it's a front leg. Uh, but Winston Zedmore. The voice of reason, Winston's the only one you want in your corner when times get tough. Yep, Winston. Uh, I, I love his line from the movie. Uh, if there's a steady paycheck in it, I'll believe anything you say. <laughs> uh, here I have Dana Barrett. This is like possessed Dana Barrett. Mm -hmm. So uh, she comes with the body of a terror dog. It's funny that just they all yeah it all has their last name so Dana Barrett uh, Dana Barrett there is no Dana only Zool <laughs> that's a good good one to put on there <laughs> yeah. so, um, and here uh, the last one to complete the plasma series uh, this is I know they have said for a fact that this is phase one so there's going to be more and I have some theories as to who's coming up next but he has the uh, ecto goggles so. That would explain why Peter has the trap. Because I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Couldn't you just put the ecto goggles on his head, and then put the trap in there? Yeah, you could. Yeah, that's... yeah, that would have made sense too. They got to be cheap on it, though. <laughs> that's... We're talking that's about Hasbro here. Yeah, or it's either that, or they were just like, hmm, let's put the other thing in the other one, so that way they'll be forced to buy the other ones. So that way, exactly. They'll... That's how I got into it. <laughs> like I said, it was like Egon and uh, Gozer. I'm good. Oh wait, they all have little pieces. Gotta get it. Uh, <laughs> but uh, Ray Stance looks. He looks like Dan Aykroyd a little bit. That's bad. It's, they always seem to go really tall on his hair. On all the figures that I've seen of, that, of that's, that's true. It's, it's yeah, weird. it's like his character in Tommy Boy, where it's like sticking way up. Yeah, uh, Ray Stan and Tommy Boy. Do what? I forgot Tommy Boy was a film. Tommy Boy. Oh yeah, that and Black Sheep always blend into me as like the same movie. I don't know what that is. Really? Yeah, I've um, never heard of that. We'll talk about it here in a minute. Um, and I just figured, I just saw that the, the terror dog that they're using is Vince Clortho. Um, so phase two is probably going to be, um, you know, Zool. But uh, Ray stands at the heart of the team. Ray's ready and more than willing to bust some ghosts. Yep. He sold his, uh, the house he was born in to invest in the company. So that's all for phase phase one of the plasma series. But yeah, I think those are, those are pretty cool figures for Ghostbusters. To me, they're the best ones that have been released in recent years. Like I have um, a figure from um, diamond select 
toys, which they were like the real cool collector series figures. But I, I took the one that I had out of the box. I had to, I just had to put them on display in, in my office and it just seems so delicate. Like they're, they're very articulate. Like every joint moves, you can replace hands and all this stuff, but everything was very delicate and it, I'm scared to do much with it because I think it's just going to crumble in my hand. Then you're going to have to scotch tape them together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, these are just 20 bucks a piece, um, which I think is the same as the uh, Black Series Star Wars figures. Too I could expensive. be wrong. They are. But it's I so think. expensive for, for toys. Yeah. For toys. That, that's the thing. It, toys are a dying thing, especially yeah. after figures, because they're so expensive. Oh, yeah. I, like video games really are replacing. Which is unfortunate because yeah. video games tend to be crap these days too. Yeah. I agree. I have a feeling Phase Two is going to be uh, Lewis Tully, uh, Walter Peck. Oh, geez, who else could there be? Oh, Janine Melnitz. That'll be a character. Slimer. How many was that? I just named off three. We got we got to have some Slimer yeah. in there. Yeah. Lewis, Janine. Yeah, yeah, Walter. Um, the mayor. <laughs> Are we going out with the first film, or the can we add into Ghostbusters? You know, that's I. That will irritate the crap out of me if they if they do a phase two or, or series two, and they mix Ghostbusters two with the Ghostbusters one. So, like, if they did do another terror dog, I mean, like, you have to have two terror dogs, right? Yeah. And to oh, we're gonna make a collector series. You have to have two terror dogs if you want to display them out of the box. So you have Zool and Vince Clortho. So, yeah, if they mix Ghostbusters 2 figures with this to put out more terror dog pieces, that'll be weird. You know what would be an awesome for for that line? Mm. Vigo the Carpathian in Ghostbusters 2? I wouldn't mind having that. But um, I guess they, they're probably going to do like Ray in his uh, his green jacket from the beginning and have like the camcorder Egon in a science jacket with the head like the earphone things uh, uh Peter Venkman and the orange jacket that he's like dancing around outside in I don't know and probably Dana Barrett dressed casual maybe they'll have that uh boom box that they had when uh was it uh Pete and Winston when they entered uh, did kids oh, parties yeah, or yeah, something? Too. Yeah, yeah. No, it'll be if we're to, if it's Hasbro, it's half a boom box. So you have to buy uh, the figures. Yeah, to boom that's box. that's, that's okay, true. And then, and then half of it. <laughs> Maybe in like uh, yeah, in a can like a can of Budweiser or something with it. That'd be funny, like the little mini can. Because they say like, let's go get a beer because they got <laughs> booed out of the party. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of uh, God. you know what they'll do. Mm. So put make Ghostbusters 2016 figures. Oh, oh god. Please don't. They can't. They won't mix that, will they? I don't know if they will at this point. I think they've given up on I think they've accepted a, a pretty much everyone hated that film. I would hope so. At that point, I think me and Matthew would be in his backyard and we would be having them and Matthew would be like, Tch -tch, all right, pull. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fly me out so I could film it for you. Yeah. <laughs> But, you know, I was excited to see, you know, more Ghostbusters stuff is out. Uh, I'm going to be kind of bummed out. Well, I am bummed out. Uh, Ghostbusters is actually playing Adam at the Winchester Drive-In Movie Theater in Oklahoma City. Oh, um, yeah. Which I think is closer to you. It is, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's Ghostbusters is playing Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night at the drive-in. So, and I have heard from other people, uh, social media and other YouTube videos that just randomly pop up. And I'm like, I got to watch that. Uh Sony Pictures is number one in the box office because of this re-release of Ghostbusters. So, <laughs> they needed something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it, it's, it's exciting times for Ghostbusters fans. I know they did a uh, United Together video with some of the cast, uh, some of the original cast from Ghostbusters um, on YouTube. I haven't watched it yet. It's in my um, watch later list. So eventually I'll get to that. But uh, yeah, I, of course they're gonna have in phase two Lewis Tully with the uh, the headpiece on. Mm -hmm. you have to. 
So, what what is it uh, that he says when he has the headpiece on? He's like, uh, yes, have some. Oh yeah, yeah. The coffee's like, would you like some coffee? Do I? Yes, have some. Yes, have (laughs) some. (laughs) (laughs) It's one of my one of my favorite lines. I. For some reason, it's one that will not stick in my head. I can't remember it. It's it's a pretty long paragraph. When when Vince goes goes into the the history of Gozer, of Vince Clortho, key master of Gozer, he goes into this long spiel. It's 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 incredible. This is like I, they must have had so much fun writing this movie, and then well, shooting uh, the movie. Well, yeah. Well, it's three writers. Because Dan Aykroyd is a crazy person, and yeah. he can't be left alone to write something. Yeah, I think, him, I think Harold, Harold Ramis, Ramis is another writer on yeah, it. Him, him and Harold Ramis, and uh, I don't know about a third. I uh, think the director wrote some stuff too. Oh yeah, Ivan Reitman. Yeah, he was pretty heavily involved with all that stuff too. Well, yeah, Ivan Reitman was basically the reins yeah. on Dan Aykroyd for most things, except for. When Dan Aykroyd directed his own film, Nothing But Trouble, starring Chevy Chase and uh, Demi Moore. I've heard about that. It's horrible. Yeah, I've heard about the nose. (laughs) Oh, God, I forgot about the nose. I was just thinking, uh, uh, I think it's John Candy is an adult baby. Ooh. As one of his characters. John John Candy. Candy. Go ahead. John Candy's more than one character, and Dan Aykroyd is a more than one character in that film. Yeah, I've never watched it. I've seen the poster for it, and I saw his nose, and I was like, this looks disturbing. <laughs> I think there was a Red Letter Media video review. Yeah, I think I watched that too. Yeah, I watched yeah. that too. That was, it, yeah, it's a disturbing looking movie. It looks awful. It, it is really awful. Um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. That's the one actor I wish was still alive, John Candy. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. was supposed to play Louis Tolley in from in Ghostbusters. Really? And he, and he wanted him to be like a a Russian, and they just were like, "No, we can't, we can't do this." And they just it didn't work out, so he stepped away. Thankfully, I mean, I love John Candy. I wish he was the one actor that was still alive making movies. He's one of my favorite. Um, but yeah, I'm glad they went with uh, with the other guy. So, oh God, what is his name? It, it's, it? It, it escaped me. Uh, Rick, Rick Moranis. Moranis. Yeah. yeah. Rick Moranis. It's a dark helmet. Yeah. 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 Spaceballs. Um, Did you guys have anything else that you wanted to show that? Uh... Yeah. I got a couple of things. Um, well, for this. Yeah. Um, I've been uh, recently collecting Godzilla stuff. Mm. And, oh, what uh, a shock. I, I'm, I'm going to know, right? I'm going to blow you up. This one, okay. Oh, okay. Well, you guys know I have this one. This was from yeah. when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> this came from my parents' attic before mm. they sold their house. But um, these are the new things that I uh, bought like a few months ago. I have these are from NECA. This is from the Godzilla Monsters of Monsters. I think it was a Sega video game, but I haven't opened these, but it's like an 8 bit Godzilla. <laughs> it's an cool. NES game and it's really bad. Yeah. But is it- that toy is pretty cool. Yeah, is he it had his like health meter and stuff up there? That was cool. Yeah, here I'll uh, here I'll do that. That's cool. No, that's Power. the that's the battlefield. So it's a turn based thing, and it's a it's a pile of trash. Oh yeah, I see it on the left. A, there. That's a really cool Godzilla figure. Yeah, yeah, but I like the yeah the, the power in life part and the <laughs> level up there. Yeah. Level one. And for all of you for uh, who are excited about Kong versus Godzilla, here's the. Original King Kong versus Godzilla model comes with the atomic breath right there. Oh heck yeah! And yeah, um, is the, there a Kong to go with that? No, actually, I didn't see one. And there could be. Um, I just didn't see it. But uh, there's something else. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, NECA has like a lot of these new Godzilla figures, like from all the '80s and '90s movies, and they even have some with the uh, from the new movies. And uh, yeah, I've been trying, but they're really expensive. Like this one in the store was like thirty-five bucks, oh, and wow. I got it off Amazon mm-hmm. for cheaper. But and this one was like ten dollars cheaper. But like I normally go to Target when I buy these. 
because that's where they're the cheapest. But um, I did go to that toy store that you did a vlog in, Toy Base 10 oh, in toy the city. Yeah. yeah, they had quite a bit of these for a little bit of a cheaper price. So I might go there next time. I hope he's open. But yeah. um, I've been wanting to get this. <laughs> it's 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 weird, but I've been wanting to get this for a while because like I wanted this on my fireplace mantle and uh, – Thankfully, my wife was willing me or willing to uh, uh, let me put it up there, but it's a bank. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the classic 70s Godzillas where he fought nice. Godzilla. But I had a friend came over the other day and like she was looking at it from this angle and she says, your Godzilla up there looks like the cookie monster. You know, <laughs> yeah, I can see it. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is the uh, from the Showa era. Nice. Like the, from the 70s. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, oh, go ahead. No, no. Uh, quality autism uh, says Brian's Brian's nerd pub's dad's geeks attic. <laughs> <laughs> quality autism's got the jokes. <laughs> and I recently got this one for my birthday um, before a quarantine hit. But this is another coin bank. Nice. This one's oh, from the cool one. This one's from the Heisei era. Or high say era, or high C area, I can't era, but high C from, era, one of my f- uh, favorite drinks. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, I think it's high say area, but um, this is like from the late eighties to late nineties. That's and, cool. Yeah, and uh, this one is currently like I'm I'm been reorganizing my office, so I'm going to try to find a, another place to put it. But it's uh, awesome. Oh, thanks. Um. But yeah, I'm good for right now. And if uh, you got something, Jeremy, I don't. I had, that was my one thing. Uh, I was hoping. Um, so I, as you all know, I move next Saturday. Mm-hmm. I have two things I bought on eBay that have not come yet. Oh no! Uh, one of them, thankfully, was someone. The sellers in San Diego. So it's about halfway up the state. I should get it probably Saturday. The other one. Is in Washington State, oh. and Ooh. I'm a little worried. I'm a, a little, little worried. Thankfully, the San Diego one is the rarer stuff. Uh, I just bought the first two Dark Forces books in hardcover. Okay, are the uh, the novels that uh, Dark Horse released about Kyle Katarn? That's cool. Which have not. Which are very sought after because they were not reprinted because Bantam got kind of upset with Dark Horse for taking their job away from them. I've shown them off before because um oh god who Dave Dorman has done uh did the art on the covers. That's cool. Did you ever have these books before the fire? Yeah I reviewed the first one. That's right. Okay. Before we were friends I think. Yeah. Um yeah. <laughs> Wait we're friends now? What's up? Oh yeah, no. <laughs> it's stupid. No, I didn't know we were friends. <laughs> I'm just here because of my backdrop of uh, U-Haul boxes and uh, <laughs> Patrick Miguel uh, Playboy paintings. Yeah. Well, well, Jeremy, I, I have to say something to Adam real quick. Um, those piggy banks. Mm-hmm. Where do you get the money from? Can you get the coins out of those banks? Oh, oh! <laughs> I thought you meant like, how is he paying for how these? I was this? just like, well, one of them was a gift. I do have a job. Them, uh, you sold them, didn't you? Okay, well, uh, this Godzilla, his head comes off. Okay, and uh, that's why he's so angry. Yeah, and this and this one, his tail comes off. Okay. Oh, good! You're not pulling him out of his, uh, you know where. Yeah, yeah, that's yep. good. Um. I'm sorry. I had to, I had to ask. Um, and no. Jeremy, something I noticed about uh, your bins there. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, got, that's all my new canon books. Oh, yeah, so you got the Last Jedi, Resistance Reborn, and what Black Spire. Okay, so some things. Basically, this is all the new canon books up until Rise of Skywalker, except for the first Thrawn novel, um, including most of the YA stuff as well. Um, Last Jedi, Canto Bite, let's see, Rogue One here, Battlefront 2, and a few others that you can't see uh, here. Oh, also, I think Thrawn Alliances as well came from 
uh, Delray themselves sent them to me as a care package after the fire. Okay. That's really cool that they did that. Along with a, from a certain point of view and the Heir to the Empire 20th anniversary that has Zahn's, um it has a, Z- a new Thrawn short story in it and also Timothy Zahn does, has some writer's notes throughout the book that are interesting to read. So. Um, we got uh, quality autism with some sarcasm over here. Uh, Small time says, "Are there train tracks near your residence, Jeremy?" And small time or quality says, "At small time, no, an airport." <laughs> <laughs> no. no, I literally my backyard backs up onto a small bike path that then on the other side is a train track. Yeah, uh, um, my new place is further away from the tracks. That's and good. we po- we will probably hear the train, but it won't shake the house anymore. I uh, I have a couple of things, Matthew. If you, unless you have something else. Uh, yeah. Is it like figures? Uh, yes. Sort of. Yeah. You, I'll um, blow you up again. How's that? It better not be other kinds of toys, if you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, we'll just do that. <laughs> um, well, this also came from my uh, parents' uh, attic whenever I was collecting them, but. Oh, cool. Yeah, hasn't been opened. And have you looked at to see what that's worth today? I have not. I was going to later, but um, I also got, I've been collecting these. Um, these are 8 bit Funko Pops of the Ninja Turtles. So we got, oh, Le- yeah. We got Leo, we got Mikey. Nice. And we got Raph and Donnie. So I. That's cool. Yeah. Now, didn't yeah. you have those in the box recently? Uh, the Ninja Turtles. Yeah, I thought I saw you like you had them on a shelf in a box. Oh, uh, at one point I did have them in the box, but I'm like the other two were not in the box. So I'm just like, you know, I'll just take them all out. Okay, I'm not gonna sell them. So yeah, there's so some you devalued them. So what? You devalued them on purpose. Way to mm. go! Yeah, Way yeah. to go, Adam. You just you guess you're gonna have to sell the piano instead. Yep. Hey, Matt, want to buy a piano? You took that out out of the box, too, huh? (laughs) (laughs) Instant devalue. The the Casio-weighted keys. Is it a Casio? (laughs) It looks like a Casio from here. Yeah, it's a Casio. It looks like my Casio that's over there. It might be the same. People just don't know how to collect things. I'm just going to have to play that in the... On bars or something like that to make the money back for oh. those Ninja Turtles. <laughs> There's those, those guitars are all wrapped in um, a protective shell. Yeah. Not really. I'm just being <laughs> it's wrapped in saran wrap. Saran wrap. Uh, so that way the paint can come off of them. Keeping <laughs> when you the unwrap them. And keeping them mint. Um, I want to. Um, did you have something else? I'm sorry. Oh, I have books, but we can do that here in a minute. Yeah, I was about to get into the books, uh, book talk. Um, there yeah. is some um, book announcements. I don't, I can't remember if I announced them here on this stream, but we have, uh, or not this stream, but on the channel in a previous stream, we have the Mandalorian novel coming out in December. Oh, yeah. um, for some reason, uh, you know, I'm happy with that. I'm fine. I like the Mandalorian. I like the author that's taking the book over. But what's confusing is that they delayed. Uh, well, first Throng got delayed, and then the High Republic book got delayed until January of next year. Um, I'm still a little bit confused on when Throng comes out. I know I see people tweet about it. All the time. I think it's in August or September. It might can, be September. I can look it up right now, but I have some images that Del Rey just released um, for the new Throng. Uh, book, which I think is called Ascendancy. To set his, his younger days. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm hoping they don't get too PC. With, uh, From what I have, it says September 1st. September 1st. Okay. Oh, so that's not too far away. Uh, <laughs> Quality Autism says, Jeremy's face says it all. <laughs> yeah. Well, there is an image that was released from Del Rey. Um, you have a young... Thrawn. That looks stupid. He looks yeah. like a Thrawn Shirley Temple with the with yeah. The, the he, he looks like a tween. At, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That's They're what I like always Thrawn. wanted. I wanted a, a YA 
Thrawn book where he overthrows <laughs> the ascendancy for Which, uh, for yeah. Hunger Games reasons. Well, the the things that I'm excited about is like you know like I've mentioned. I oh, Siri kicked on. Okay. It's okay. I, I'm pumped for the book because I just finished you know Outbound Flight, Timothy's on Thrawn book. Oh, oh, so you're ready to be horribly disappointed by Probably. modern Zon. Probably so, but the the image I thought this the only cool thing about this that they did that I don't like how they did this thing that's weird, but these little symbols over here all represent the different houses in the Chiss race, I guess. I don't and I can't remember what they called them, um, like the one that's supposed to represent all of them, the Chiss race, I guess, or the whole ascendancy is this one. Which I thought looked. I mean, these are all very simple designs. Okay, to be honestly honest here, um, you can make these with with just a simple. They look design. like the Led Zeppelin logos for each member. Uh, <laughs> like yeah, so and all that. <laughs> like Legend of Zelda over here. You see that the Triforce thing, like in three yeah. D. Um, I could draw these, and that's yeah. not a good thing. It's triangles right here, um, but. It's, it's what I, I thought it looked like this symbol looked kind of neat. So I just pulled up one of my apps. It's, it, called it's Over. okay to be wrong. Yeah. I, I yeah. Well, I, uh, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, Thank you. Quality quality autism agrees with me saying that looks terrible. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I thought it looked, I thought it was, you know, I don't know. Like I told you, I'm hyped. I'm on the hype train because I read Outbound Flight, and I, I just have a feeling that they're gonna like Zon's gonna go like, okay, finally, I get to get more into it because I don't know what all happened in the expanded universe with Thrawn. Like as early as we get with Thrawn, and like how far does it go back in his lore? As far as I know, it is Outbound Flight. Yeah, I don't know if later uh, on, there's a few adventure journal stories that happen afterwards with Thrawn. As well as he shows up actually in the first Dark Forces book by William C. Ditz. He's Captain oh, Thrawn, and that he's uh, in Jarek's command. What? Oh, it's oh, the by, same by quality. quality out to... Yeah. See ya. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. That was the meanest way I could have said that. <laughs> actually, it wasn't, but it was the meanest I could say without uh, giving this an explicit tag. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, see you later, Quality Autism. See, see you, dude. Um, uh, I recreated it in an app. Uh, how special? <laughs> I thought it was like a cool paper. <laughs> you should get that tattooed on your forehead. No, I'm not going that far into it. Uh, th sure. I thought you were on the hype train. Huh, Matthew? Well, huh? That, huh? That to it. Just, you know. Excited to see where uh, Zon goes. I have a feeling he's going to pull a lot of what he originally had planned for Thrawn. Uh, of course, we're probably, I mean, it's not a joke around here, beating around the bush. There, there, there's probably going to be some PC stuff in here, you know, bringing current politics into the whole thing. And, you know, may. Zon seems to have avoided that for the most part in his stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, thinking back to what was the last one he did, Thrawn Treason. There really wasn't. I mean, uh, what was that? Uralani is the other Chiss Admiral that, or uh, who was the the female Chiss that was in command? Of yeah, the, Aralani. Yeah, that, yeah, that Vanta's on. Um, yeah, there wasn't anything with her. She was just a woman commander. I mean, he would have done that anyway. It's yeah. not Alexander Freed, or um. Chuck Wendig, or um, <laughs> who's the worst at that in the in the new canon writers? It's not Alexander Freed, but he's done it. He did it in uh, Alphabet Squadron. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, geez, Is it K. K. Johnston? K. Johnston. I think like all of the handmaidens are uh, in love with each other. Um. That's someone's kink somewhere, which is disgusting to think about. But little, little kids, um, I can't remember. John Blaine Jackson Miller. Oh yeah, uh, John Jackson Miller. Or someone? Oh, no, no. I didn't think. So. Paulus Kemp. 
Who did Lord of the... Oh, Lord yeah, that's Paul S. Kemp. Yeah, but, yeah. I mean, that wasn't that bad in comparison to the others. Now, his uh, was the most... Honestly, a lot of people who watch this, watch my channel in my reviews, yeah, I complain about the sexual stuff sometimes. It's just who I am. You don't like it? Get out of here. Um, I don't like it. it. Shouldn't be in the Star Wars books. It's not in the expanded universe. At least nothing that I've ever read. But uh, the thing about the Lords of the Sith, the way that Paulus Kim did it, felt completely natural. It did not feel like, hey, um, check the box, okay? Make sure you check the box. Everything flowed. Yeah. You know what I mean? In yeah. some of these other books, they like sprinkle in like, oh yeah, and I miss my lover. We used to do this, and it's like, where? Oh yeah, we, Rebecca Roanhorse did that. Yeah, it's like, why are we talking about this? And then you never hear about it again, which yeah. you know I don't mind. But it's like, why did you throw that in there to begin with? If there is nothing else about it, there's no, there's nothing that drives the story. There's nothing about the character other than that we get to know, like, oh, yeah. Someone out there in the world can relate to this character because of that and only that. Yeah, they didn't do that. Like, uh, I think, he, like, they, I remember them mentioning, like, Vader would remember Padme, but then it would just move on to something else completely. And, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, no, I like anyway. that book. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. before I get I to, before I get before, banned from YouTube. Before we get, like, <laughs> really mad at the new canon for being what it is. Oh, mm -hmm. Bla Delilah S. Dawson does it. Mm -hmm. Constantly. Yeah. Well, Delilah S. Dawson's books are the most baffling things I've I've ever read. That had Star Wars and actually that's not true now. I read Karen Miller's books. Those are the most baffling things that have ever existed that have <laughs> the trademark of Star Wars that that wasn't uh that was uh, an official novelization of anything. Yeah. Sorry, I'm looking for something that I thought I had with me in my hand. Oh, so I had something because I wanted to move away from Disney canon right now. Adam was talking about talking to us about uh, a novelization he found. Uh, oh, yeah. Spider-Man. Oh. And I want to say if we do that for paper movies and it's terrible because I blame you for King of the Monsters. I didn't pick King of the Monsters. Uh, you did. I, I, th I don't remember picking it. I thought Matthew picked it. Did, Matthew, I pick did what? you pick King of the Monsters? I have no idea. Okay, whoever picks one that's bad again, we're reading the Zardoz novelization I found. They have one of those? Yes, there's a Zardoz novelization. I found it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that that will be our that will be the penance <laughs> for for the next thing that's bad. I don't care who it is at this point because no one remember. I know I didn't pick King of the Monsters. I what can't remember we who we did. King of the Monsters, Dragon Slayer. Yeah. That, that yeah. We're doing, doing Predator this month. Predator, and the next month we're going to be doing Raiders. Uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. And then the month after that, is, I don't know. Yet. That's is that your turn after that, or yeah, is that Jeremy? Jeremy's turn. No, yeah. it's like, you're doing uh, okay. The predator right now is Jeremy. Yes. Right. You were doing uh, Raiders next month, right? And then you pick Raiders. Is that what you wanted to do? Yes. yes. Okay. That's Matthew. Of I'm. I'm yeah, <laughs> this is going to be one of the stream snips where we're just trying. <laughs> I don't know where I am right now. Paper movie I'm breaks not... up out of confusion. <laughs> uh, so, but um, yeah, I don't. I don't know. I, I'm still trying to decide. Uh, I don't know what to do yet. And that that'll be in what September. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So this time, I, I don't want to. I kind of want to torture everybody, but I kind of don't. Uh -oh. What were you thinking of torture? We'll get into that when I show off these books. But you, you were showing one off, right? Oh Before. yeah, uh, I have a couple of novelizations. Um, I have Spider Man. I really mm -hmm. like this cover. Like, I kind of want that as a movie poster. Mm -hmm. um, do you mind oh. if I show them? So what? It's a cool poster. I remember thinking that was really cool. Yeah. When, was, yeah. when did Spider Man come out? Two thousand two. Yeah. Yeah. I was at the end of first grade when it came out, and I was so excited to be done with school and watch that movie. Yeah, I was uh, I was so excited too. Like I was just I got on the Spider Man hype back then, and you know, just like everything like was 
like Spider-Man, like, you know, there's Spider-Man pop tarts, there's Spider-Man video games, like Spider-Man little wet water web shooter things. And does it, does that, um, what the, those Spider-Man pop tarts were so good. They were, I, I, I remember them. Like I got them all the time. They were so delicious. But uh, what were you going to ask Matthew? Um, does that book have any like little tags from the movie, like movie lines or anything movie of the year or something like that? I like to, I like to re- look for those on these novelizations. Uh, it has this. It's just the explosive tale of Marvel comics, crime fighting superhero. Okay. Other than that, um, it does the official novelization of the film. But, uh, Sometimes they, they put like stupid little like, things on there like uh, the next, it was cool but then they died and you're like the, what the <laughs> next one i was going to show does okay so i bought this mainly as a joke guys i have no intention of actually doing this on paper movies unless jeremy picks something to where we're all mad at him for reading it then i'm going to force him to find <laughs> it and read it <laughs> but okay. superman 3 oh, I, I would love to read that <laughs> uh, but <laughs> But um, it says this time Superman really has his hands full. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but um, yeah, it's actually not a long book. It's like two hundred and twenty pages. But um, but yeah, so this was only two dollars at the bookstore, and I was just like, I can I have to get that. I mean, um, well, yeah. Well, I mean, sometimes you just have to. <laughs> Um, do you mind if I show that book, Matthew, that I uh, found for you? Oh, yeah. Because I'm, I want to show it because it's written by the same author that wrote Superman 3 novelization, and I just now noticed it. Yeah. Um, I was at the bookstore the other day, and I was messaging Matthew and Jeremy asking if there was any books they were looking for. And he asked about this book, and I, E.T., the book of the <laughs> green planet. Yeah. Yeah. The sequel to E.T., yeah. Yep, this is a... Uh, uh, the store closest to me didn't have it, but they uh, are getting it transferred from another store and uh, it's only a dollar 75. So what's but, the um, fee? <laughs> say what? So what's, what's the fee that I owe? Oh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's a, the author's name is William Cotts Winkle. Wow. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Wow. Cotts Winkle. <laughs> That's crazy. It's funny that it's the same author. Yeah, that's. I, I have a feeling that's Jeremy's new YouTube name. Codswinkle. Codswinkle that's, that's, reviews. That's, that's going to be my my. Uh, oh, your what? your only fans, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my only fans. All right, time to tune into Codswinkle. <laughs> they put the glasses on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who it's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Scott Twinkle, how you doing? <laughs> oh, I, I thought I thought I saw Jeremy over there. Huh? <laughs> I'm, I'm gravely mistaken. There was a comment that I completely didn't see. There is Interforce Historian. I haven't seen Interforce Historian pop up here before. Uh, so that was a cool Godzilla figure that you had there. Oh, well, oh, thank you. Uh, was it the uh, one of the NECA ones, or was the uh, the Coin been. Banks? Might have been. Too bad I missed that. They're probably not here now. <laughs> um, I think I think the uh, the other channel that is uh, doing a video right now during this time has probably uh, got a lot of my a lot of the crowd over there that likes to watch this stuff too. Oh well, it happens. I'll get the review. That's <laughs> the replay. <laughs> the rerun. Anyway, I don't care. Uh, Jeremy, you had a book in your hand right now. What is I that? I did. I found my copy of Raiders. Yay! Yay! I got this free. It's very water damaged. It smells like must, mm. but I'm going to read it. I could be completely wrong, but that looks like a different cover than the one that I have. I could be making that up. I might I might have no idea what I'm talking about, but that gets into that again. Yeah. It's also a very destroyed cover. Mm. So, Jeremy, on your copy, are you, not Jeremy, Adam, <sighs> are you going to be reading your copy uh, that has the three books in one? Yeah. No. Do you not have the uh, individual books? No, um, I have. It's it's not, it's one of the uh, Indiana Jones series books. Um, yeah, one of the Bantam ones. Yeah, let me uh, grab it here. No, I know you ordered. You had some trouble with that order. Um, <laughs> yeah, but this is the other one that I have. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, that was that was horrible. Like, so I ordered it from Half Price Books, and the only place that they had it was a store, in, uh, one of their locations in Texas. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what was going on. I don't know if it was like all the the you know the COVID or the right. uh, pr- protesting or whatever. But um, they um, I ordered it, and they I kept going calling the store saying, "Hey, uh, I was just checking, you know, like if you guys can track it for me." They said, "Like, oh yeah, it's still at a." a a shipping service in uh, Texas. I called like three times and they kept giving me the same thing. And so I was like, uh, you guys told me this book would be here like in two days. And that's one, like two weeks. So they're like, the manager was on the phone and she was like, I'm so very sorry about that. We do see that here that, um, it was supposed to have been out to you by now. Um, so we're going to order it from another, um, <laughs> another store location from another state. And we're going to expedite it out to you. So that way it gets to your house in like two or three days. Like, okay, at no additional cost. I'm like, oh, okay, well, thank you. That was really nice of you. And and they even gave me the uh, tracking number so I can keep track of it. And um, so I wait like two or three days. And like on the second day, though, I tried using the tracking number and it wouldn't work. So I was like, okay, I called the store back again. And they're like, oh, sometimes it takes a bit. I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so eventually it did work and I was able to track it. And then I did get it. And then... Two days after I got my copy, I get a call from the half price books down the street from my house that said, just like, just like, oh, good news. Your uh, copy that you ordered from Texas just now came in. I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of tempted to go in there and uh, just be like, just like, hmm, I wonder if I can still get it from them. But I was like, eh, I'll be honest. And I'll, I'll just like, hey, I uh, I actually got a copy that your manager expedited out to me. So I'm just go ahead and put it back on the shelves. So wow. that's crazy. Oh, uh, look who's joining us today. I know. I saw that. Um, I, I have a couple books here that I would like to show everybody, too. I mean, we need to address the elephant in the room here. Matt Wilkins, how dare you come on here when you tried to sabotage the stream with the live Q and A? <laughs> how dare you? Get out of here! You uh, stink. I can't. We can't claim days. Uh, Matt, is Jeremy moving? That's his yeah. new furniture. This wow. is my home. This Those is my his... structure. I live. That's, with. that's how he expands his room. Those are other rooms in his room. That he goes into. It's it's all in the imagination, my dude. Um, we also have Scott Johnson, Geeks Outhouse. I like it. I like it too. Uh, <laughs> it probably stinks in there. <laughs> Jeremy's room. Um, Rob D. Hey guys, just came from Matt's Live Q and A. Well, thanks for joining. Yeah, uh, yeah. We, we know the sabotage Q and A is what I will refer to it as. Ha, Matt uh, Matt Wilkins says, "Has Matthew played his guitar yet? Not on the stream." Um. And Matt also asked, is Adam going to sing a piece from Hamilton? Um, it's kind of funny he mentioned that because I actually just saw that for the first time last night. <laughs> yeah. Did you like uh, it? Well, let's get to that in a second. I want to show yeah, you yeah, 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 just yeah. in case we get distracted uh, where we're still on the book topic. Um, nobody cares about this one. Um, I got Black Spire in paperback. Just, <laughs> because, just, just <laughs> because there's a short story in it, and they haven't published a short story. Can I just rip the cover? Uh, <laughs> it, didn't, it, didn't rip. <laughs> it did not rip. Uh, they, they have a short story in here at the back. They haven't put a short story in a book in a very long time. They used to do them in Insider Magazine, which I think now is just called Star Wars Magazine. They stopped doing short stories there. So it's like, oh, cool, a short story. Let's see if this is halfway decent. Um, so eventually I'll get to that. But I, I have shown these books before on a different stream. I think over on Adam's channel or Jeremy's. I can't remember, but I haven't shown them here. I've got the Alien 3 novelization. Nice. Uh, Good. Um, this time, it's hiding in the most terrifying place of all. That's what it says right across there. Well, I got to go that way. <laughs> in a um, terrible effect. Yeah. So uh, I'm excited about that. That was actually one of my uh, favorite Alien movies. Um, just because I saw it before all the other ones. Uh, so it has a little special play. Uh, the X files, just another novel that I've had. I've probably shown this one like three or four times, Yes, <laughs> but it's been in the stack. So after this stream, I'm going to put it on the shelf, uh, ruin. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, it's got a little short story in that one too. Um, this is the one I'm tempted to do for paper movies. I know Jeremy does not want to do it. 
he said that whenever I showed this book on either his channel or Adam's channel. And that would be the, ofu- uh, the, offic- the official <laughs> the, the official movie novelization of Bloodshot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, being a hero is in his blood. I guess Can we do does. that? It's going to be the Zardos time. Okay. okay. Well, we're, we're going to read. <laughs> that might be my uh, my blackmail one. I guess it's like you do that to me. Well, guess what, buddy? <laughs> you know, at least the Bloodshot novelization has an audio book. It does. So I, well, I figured a lot of the newer ones are going to. And I know you'd said, oh, some of them have to have a have an audio book when school starts back up. Uh, so I was actually looking at older movie novelizations that have unabridged audiobooks, and mm-hmm. Terminator Three has Terminator a, 3. as an audio book. Hmm. I know I have Terminator and Terminator Two. I do not have Terminator Three. Um, I have two more books. No, I have four more books. Um, again, these first two I've shown these before on one of your streams, but uh, we have the Wild Wild West. Yeah, and really good. Rate that. <laughs> really good condition. Yeah, this one. Okay, it's either this or Bloodshot. Oof, oof. Which oof. one would you choose? Voluntarily. Yeah. Oh, uh, Wild Wild West. Okay. Because that so, that would be amusing if I could find it. That's the thing. Yeah. I know I can find Bloodshot. Yeah. And that, because in my area, it's hard to find movie novelizations. Unless the words Star Wars or Star Trek are in them. Mm. Because I kind of want to do Star Trek The Motion Picture just got re-released in paperback. It's also really short. Hmm. Which is always a plus for me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this this last one, the other other two books that I'm going to show you after this one um, came in the mail today. So that's neat. Um, uh, we, we've got the shadow of what was lost. This is a fantasy. Oh my god! You were actually trying to read that. Well, I I read the the uh, the prologue. That's all. It's just two pages. I, and I so you're being lazy. Well, I have. I'm weird, and I have bookmarks for different books. Like I have my canon bookmark. I have my expanded universe bookmark, and I have like my uh, fantasy bookmark, which is like a map. So, you know, I'm a weirdo. Uh, but this is really thick. But a lot of it too is like. It's like the hardcover, you know? It's big print. It's spaced out pretty well. Um, But it says if uh, you love The Wheel of Time, this is about to become your new favorite series. So there's three. This is a trilogy. So uh, I don't have to get 12 or 13 books, 14 books. Oh, go on, Adam. No, I was just going to say, Matthew, I'm sorry. Each time I see you put down a book now, I'm always going to hear, oh, crap, did I rip it? You know? (laughs) Oh, yeah. Oh, crap. Um, let's get to these comments before I show you these next two books that came in. Uh, Matt Wilkins says the Greek, the geeks outhouse has bread bowls under the bed. <laughs> Where's, do you have a bread bowl tonight? No, oh, wait, no, you're on your diet. That's right. I'm on my diet. I've lost two pounds by the way. Health update. That's awesome. Good job. Well done. It's a hard thing to do. Uh, Scott Johnson says RIP. I don't know what that was in reference to. Um, small time. I had someone legitimately ask me if Alexander Hamilton was white in real life the other day. <laughs> That's really embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think we need to give Jeremy a minute here. <laughs> uh, Rob D, have you ever? <laughs> Have you ever read Superman? The Year? <laughs> Speaking of stream snips, there's a little thing that I pull snippets out of these live streams. You guys probably have. If you haven't watched the bread bowl one yet, go watch the bread bowl. It's great. Do a little bit of editing on that one. Um, Rob D, have you ever read Superman? The U- Unity Saga, Volume 1? I recently picked it up and read it. I have Matt, not. Have you read Superman? The Unity Get out of here. Shoo. Get out. Get out. <laughs> Making up a little uh, tea. Get out of here with your bad hair. You got your chamomile? Yeah. <laughs> um, sleepy Kenneth, sleepy time. Sleepy time tea. Come on. Oh, sleepy time. Yeah, I, I, we have some of that. So sleepy it's time. a roofie? No, this is actually um, 
little bear uh, English black tea or something. Okay. I have Earl Grey, but I decided to go with the black tea for right now. Mm. Good. That's a good choice. That's one of my go-tos. A, a tea that matters. Uh, Small Time says Kenneth Branagh is unrecognizable in Wild Wild West. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Alexander Hamilton was white in real life? <clears throat> Stop it. Don't do this to me. I didn't know that. Oh, speaking of bad packaging. Okay. This is not an action figure. Star Wars Dark Legends came into the mail today. This is a really tiny book. What is that? Uh, Is that new canon? It it is. It, It smells like it from here. And I'm in the Geeks Outhouse. It actually does. You are it's bread bowls and everything. It's just full of new cannon, Matt. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, <laughs> Matt, hey, that face yeah. that you made er- earlier reminded me of this. Uh, Matthew, can you blow this up for me, please? Um, that face you made earlier was this. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, you, hey, wasn't the king just? He, didn't he just steal the show in Hamilton? Yeah, that's. I was actually telling my wife, I was like, man, if there's like any role I could play in this, it would be the king because he's only on I there thought, for like. I thought too because it's the only white guy <laughs> on the show. But but the thing is though, I also think I also think he's hilarious. Like, no, he uh, is. You'll be yeah, back. you'll be back. Wait until. Na, 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 na. I listen to that song all the time. I think it's great. I, I think it's not very historically accurate, but the, the show's fun. Go ahead, yeah. Matthew. The small time. Are you in the U.S.? If so, thank you, U.S. education system. Uh, World of Warcraft, Shadows Rising. It's coming out uh, next week uh, by Madeline Rowe. Ruck? What, would the X be silent in that last name? How do, you, how do you still get free books when you don't have any time to read these? I put everything down to read these. Uh, that's why it's taken me so long his, to get through. His wife um, reads them out loud to him. <laughs> read, read me a story before bed. <laughs> over uh, Marco Polo. So she reads into the honest. Marco Polo to him. Uh, yeah, well, I'll be like, honest. Yeah, I'm rolled over. She's like right next to me sending me Marco Polo. This has been a great series to read. The Dune. What book are you on now? I know you said like the last time you were here, you the, said you're going to start. I was on the first book and it's it was I was wrong. It was 600 something. These are 600 and something page books, 630 page yeah, books. The pretty and thick. the thing is, I got playing board games and didn't get a chance to finish it. But I did finish it, uh, what was it, hold on, two days ago? Yeah. So I'm only 200 and something pages into this one because I want to get some board games done. But this is it's been really fun. It's been really fun. Plus, the girls are home right now. It's kind of yeah, you hard. Would, you would probably read this in about two hours. It's only 200. Oh, lightweight. 288. I, I just forgot. I didn't know these Doom books were 630 pages long each. That's I was like, insane. oh my gosh. I thought they were 400 or something. 284 pages. That's all this World of Warcraft book is. There you go. Hey, Matt, Ranger you see the, under 200. Which Matt, one? Did you, did you see the novelization I bought for two bucks the other day? <laughs> it's Adam's favorite book. Yep. That's awesome. <laughs> It's 220 pages. Yeah. yeah. That's 220 yeah. pages too much. Yeah. You know, that, this true story, though, um, that movie freaking scared me as a kid. Do you know what scene? Mm-mm. Where the where the computer takes that lady and then digitizes her or something? Like, puts all that metal on her and makes her a robot? Oh, yeah. That's what Jeremy... I, the I one thing I remember from that film... Still it freaked thing. me out. It's still a scary scene. See, I've never seen it. I've, I've never seen it, it once. I haven't even Don't seen it. Did watch it? It's Superman friggin' three. You think it'd be fun? I never even saw the original Superman. I never saw the remake either. Or Man of Steel. Okay, okay, that's okay. okay. Hold on, hold on. You're you're fine. You're fine. Wait, no, you need no. to watch. I did see Superman. That's when he go. He flies around the Earth really fast, right? And like reverse yeah. time. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I did see that Chris, one. Okay. Uh, he is Christopher Reeves is the best Clark Kent they'll ever be. I mean, no one portrayed Clark Kent better because for someone whose glasses dictate who they are, 
he his whole demeanor he slumps when he's in Clark Kent. There's a great scene in Superman too, if y'all know what I'm talking about, where he's about to tell L Lois who he is, and he takes off the, you know, he's, he's Clark Kent, and while she's looking around, he just takes off the glasses and then kind of suddenly just grows into, you know, Superman. But then he decides, no, last minute, I'm not going to do it, and so he puts it on, and all of a sudden shrinks back <laughs> into. It's it's unbelievable. It's one whole scene. You're like, no, he was Superman just then, and now he's Clark Kent again. He does even Superman four, which is terrible, terrible. Christopher Reeves as Clark Kent is fantastic. Perfect. Well, you you understand that Christopher Reeves wrote Superman four. It's the only reason they got him to be in the film. Oh, really? That's why there's all the the um, throwing all the nukes into the sun. That was his idea. The whole fixing the planet. That was yeah. the only way they could get him back. And then uh, it was a Canon Films did Superman four, right? And uh, around the same time, they signed. I think they signed Sylvester Stallone to do Over the Top for more money than they actually had. So they took it out of Superman 4's uh, effects budget. Is it the movie that apparently like him? And, uh, <laughs> wait, Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger were having like a. No, that's like, Stop or My Mom Will Shoot. That was like five years later. Okay. Um, no, over the top is when uh, Canon Films decided they could make a Rocky movie that would be as popular as Rocky about arm wrestling. <laughs> and Which being is, a truck driver. And right. being a truck driver it, it is the dumbest. It's the dumbest of his 80s movies, I should say. It's not the dumbest Stallone movie that probably goes to Expendables 3. Hmm. Speaking of stupid, that movies, that movie's awful, and you know it, Matt. I watched. I I got this Pluto app in True Tubi. Tubi, and I've watched a couple horror movies, and I want to know if you guys have ever seen these. Uh, Basket Case. Yes, I've seen ba Basket Case. No, Matt, do yourself a favor. Do you like cheesy horror movies? Basket Case. All right. Adam it's about right a now. guy who's uh, um, he he's a twin. He has a Siamese twin that he carries around in a, a picnic basket, and the Siamese twin eats people. It's okay. It's so bad. The acting is some of the worst that I've ever seen, and you could tell they're trying really hard. You um, know, there's sequels to Basket Case, right? I saw that there's two and three, but they're not on those apps, so I can't watch them. Don't um, bother. I, the music. I, uh, Go ahead. The two movies I recently watched were Kingdom of Heaven. Oh, I forgot that was a thing. Ridley Scott's Three Hour Crusade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this I mean, is when Br Ridley Scar Scott started making garbage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because it's just it's way why. too long and has too many uninteresting parts in it. It's sad because there's some good stuff in there, but it shouldn't be three hours. Do you remember when he remade Exodus like a few years ago and Sigourney Weaver was in it? They did no. a, yeah, he did a mo he remade Exodus. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And it was really bad. And um, then I saw um a western that was good for a little bit, but the ending wasn't that good. Oh gosh. Sephron Falls or something. It's got Pierce yeah. Brosnan and Liam Neeson. Really? Oh, and Pierce Brosnan sounds like he gargled Jack Daniels and nails, right? <laughs> He sounds like awful in it. No, but it had a great story. <laughs> Liam Neeson is hunting down Pierce Brosnan. And then you find out why at the end. And it's fantastic. <laughs> but the thing is, though, the ending's kind of weird. Uh, are you okay, Adam? <laughs> <laughs> you killed Adam. Oh, is this my fault? I don't know what I did. I genuinely don't. <laughs> Gargle Jack Daniels and Nails. Yeah, there he did. A, Pierce. This is right in this era where Pierce Brosnan like gave up being James Bond and did like nothing movies. And he he puts on this terrible voice. I I know the film you're talking about, and he just sounds like trash. Like mm. it's just it's not Pierce Brosnan. It's not on a level where like Daniel Craig put on that terrible American accent in the first Tomb Raider movie, but it's right up there in That's this part right up bad. To answer Scott Johnson's question, I don't yeah. um 
I, I, I don't have the, it on DVD. I just watched the movie and it's just, it's just too long. There's stuff that should have been cut out. I love Jeremy. I, the thing is though, Jeremy Irons, I mean, it's Jeremy Irons. He's good, but it was also in the Dungeons and Dragons movie. They don't give him anything. <laughs> So, I mean, it's like, and, and then what's his name? Uh, who's the, the Pirates of the Caribbean kid is in it. Uh, Orlando, Orlando Bloom. Yeah, Orlando Bloom. Orlando yeah. Bloom. And he's good in it. He's decent in it. I mean, it's, it's got some good stuff in it here and there, but it's just, there, there's a good hour they could have cut out completely from it. When you think of uh, Orlando Bloom, you think of Pirates of the Caribbean over the Lord of the Rings? Matt well, hates Lord of the he, Rings, the movies. Right. I was thinking, wait, somebody here doesn't like Oh, that's Lord right. Rings. He was in Lord of the Rings. I, I'm yeah. not a Lord of the Rings fan. Regular. Oh, man. No, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, three, two, one. <laughs> there it is. No, no. Who's Joe Bob Briggs? Does anybody know who Joe Bob Briggs? Yeah, he did uh, Monster Vision on TNT. Okay. He was a horror movie host. I think, I think he still is. That. He he uh, does stuff on Shutter now. Okay, I think I remember him. Like when I'd get on, yeah, cable when I was a kid. TNT, they'd play stupid horror movies. Yeah, uh, it was like after like the WCW versus NWO wrestling. <laughs> yeah, and then you'd watch like Ghoulies too. Yeah, uh, I was gonna say though with Tubi though, that's where I found uh, Highlander. The yeah, sword. They, have, they have something on there. I can't. I didn't know if it was the show or the movies or something. It's I haven't the show. I, I, is this, it's the show? Okay, I, and they even have a spinoff. They have the Raven on there. Unfortunately, yeah, that's a garbage. Let's take the worst character in the Highlander se uh, series and give her a show. Yeah, it, it was a terrible decision. But I, but I heard, did they? Did they? Did they? Was it going to be Mythos, and then they decided to switch last minute? I don't know. I don't know either, but Mythos should have had his own series. That's that's who you give the spinoff to. Mm -hmm. There was another stupid movie I watched. I think it was called like uh, the Sleep the Slumber Party. Slumber, Party, Slumber Massacre. Party Massacre. Yeah, I think yes. it was made in like nineteen eighty one. But it, I've seen like, that. You did. Yeah, it, I've like, seen it. Complete seventies vibe. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. They all, all those really cheap trying to cash in on Halloween and Friday the 13th movies. Yep. A lot of them were made beforehand and they like up the gore later. Mm -hmm. Like uh, Prom Night, for instance. Prom Night has a disco dance off in the middle of it. <laughs> and it came out in 80. Like disco was like dead. Yeah. Like super dead and had been super dead for a little while. Yeah, we, we also, uh, I, those movies just, they're fun and so tacky to watch. Um, we haven't finished it yet. We started it, we haven't finished it. Uh, Night of the Demons. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, I've heard yeah, of that. I, I watched that once when I was in college. Uh, I think who, back when Hulu was free. Ooh. And, oh, uh, and Sorry, there, I'll, go ahead. There was a song that I really liked. It's so, so cheesy, so 80s. Um, what was that song? I, I, they just released it on iTunes and Amazon. Uh, the beast inside and like i guess it's the singer who the guy who wrote the song posted his picture as the album cover and it's so bad it's just like an old man like looking down at his camera and there's like a an umbrella closed behind him like he's at some in his backyard it's like come on man like you couldn't do hire somebody to make you a little album cover cuz it was like all his work from that movie um, but it, it's a, it's really, it starts off real slow and like a <coughs> type thing, and then just builds into like this '80s hair bands uh, rock song. It's awesome. The Beast Inside. You guys need to look it up from Night of the Demons. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to finishing the movie. It's, it's uh, actually not that bad. Uh, can I address two things in the comments real quick? Yeah. Uh, one, Rob D. Uh, I'm going to be reviewing The Dark Knight Returns next. I'm kind of doing like what I do with Jaws, like the original. No novel with the, the, the film that they made uh also small time asked have, have any of us ever seen sleepaway camp i have yes. it was, oh my gosh that i watched that when I've i was like seen all of them i've seen it when i was like 13 years old and it traumatized me wait i i did too i hate that stupid movie or movies my wife so absolutely good. loves Sleepaway Camp. Those are absolutely. so good. I um, forgot that Megan loves those. Um, no, literally, they used to. Someone put all of those movies on YouTube at one point. 
It was the most uh, unedited, by the way. And, and I watched them and with uh, nudity and all. And uh, then they got pulled. It was a sad day for for Jeremy's all around. But uh, I love uh, I love the first one for the most part um, because it's so bizarre. It's such yeah. a bizarre movie. But the sequels are just dumb. Um, two, the main thing is so uh, Angela drowns someone in an outhouse. No idea what just happened. <laughs> Sorry, he just, um, just took like, yourself out. She she literally shoves a person down an outhouse and they drown in feces. And the third one has a terrible. She makes a terrible rap tape, and then kills someone after the rap tape plays. And then four and five are just garbage. Yeah, I I've only seen the first one. And that's I was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I like Christopher Nelson. He, he tunes back in for one second. And here's Highlander. <laughs> oh, hey, well, here. Coin. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I didn't yeah. say it, Chris. It's true. He didn't. Somebody else. Some other bozo brought it in. Um, small time. Return to Sleepaway Camp. Does, I know you're talking about two, three, and I think four. Oh, uh, Bruce Springsteen's uh, sister as uh, Angela. Uh, but the Return to Sleepaway Camp has the original actress. She comes back. Spoilers. But don't oh. watch Return to Sleepaway Camp. It's really bad. You know, They're I think bad. there was another cheesy movie that I watched, but I can't remember, so it must have been really bad. Chopping Mall? Chopping Mall. That's right. Oh, yeah. My uh, my old teacher, Mark Spear, has a, has a <laughs> cameo in that. I mean, I, so yeah, I actually, I don't know why it might just get my brain. Cause I was talking about it with my wife last night. I was like, which movie that we've watched so far on these apps has the best kill chopping mall. We have the head explosion with yeah. the laser. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. pretty good. That's one yeah. of the better. Yeah. Head and explosion. then with uh, the, the sleepover uh, we have, Oh man. The, I guess just the, uh, there was a decap- decapitation in that one too. Yeah. That was like that guy, like in the car. Yeah. Yeah. With, like with the the drill bit stuff, and then um, uh, Night of the Demons. There was another really stupid death in that one. I can't remember what that was either. My, my brain just fried, you guys. It, it's ten forty two. It just happened. It's called a stroke. Uh, yeah, probably. probably. Um, crap. Yeah, chopping chopping mall, man. yeah, chopping mall though. So far, has been I think it has the best kill. The laser to the head, just you know. Uh, in my first uh, student film, "Who Killed Jeremy Rempel?" There's a chopping mall reference in the in the film of uh, when the other Jeremy gets thrown by my teacher. It just reminisces when he was significantly younger and threw a small child from that arcade cabinet <laughs> in the beginning. Um, um, our, the other one from Basket Case, there the death was uh, this lady getting stabbed in the face with uh, like the, the camera cuts to her. and She's got like these uh, syringes, like all in her face. Oh God. Yeah. And she just like, it like waits for, you could just hear the guy just like, he doesn't say it. You just imagine it like ready and rolling action. And then the lady like looks at the camera and then just starts screaming. And then like slowly, fi- like she's doing this with like her hands, like, Hey, look at my face, look at my face, <laughs> but she's screaming and then like kind of falls off the camera. I bad. still think one of the best 80s uh, death scenes of all time was when Freddy Krueger shoved this woman's head through a TV. He goes, welcome to prime time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> from uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3. The, the, the missus absolutely loves Nightmare on Elm Street. Mine does too. Oh. She loves Freddy Krueger. <laughs> I don't know. I lo- I'm, I'm partial to scanners when the guy's head explodes. That, may- that was one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen in the film. This is by far the best head explosion. I think they filled it with like dog food or something like Ooh. that. Yeah. Craft services and dog food because it, it looks like brain like comes out. Brain be, and teeth. Be easy to clean up, just call in the dogs. Um <laughs> the, the you other want, movie. Go ahead. What? You don't want them eating craft services. <laughs> uh the other movie that we watched, Cellar Dweller. Not heard of that. You haven't heard of that one? The, you know the guy from um, <laughs> When they resurrect the guy, the, it's the green logo. 
I'm horrible at this stuff, you guys. I'm sorry. The um, Jim Henson it's logo? Zombie, it's a zombie movie. Uh, regenerate these the bodies, the scientist. Reanimator? Like, reanimator. Yeah, that's one where the, he's like holding his head. Yeah. He yeah, really yeah, and the severed head gives that, that chick head. Yeah, the young guy, the scientist, <laughs> he's in that movie in the beginning. You're, you're, you're shaking your head, but that happens in that movie. I, I <laughs> That's kind of like one of those pun intended... I guess <laughs> uh, it, it, it's also uh, it's the same. It's the right from the writer of uh, honey. I shrunk the kids. Stuart Gordon. No way. Yeah. Oh uh, my Stuart. gosh. That's insane. He um, actually just died uh, this year. I was really? very sad. Huh. That, that has a really stupid death where the guy, uh, there's a fire. He's in the basement. So you see the stairs right behind him. And the fire just starts to grow in front of him. And he like puts his hands up, and he just slides out of frame. Like just slides out. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so stupid. But it's like he, he's a comic artist, and he does some spell on what he's drawing, like some monster, and it summons the demon that he draws, and like actually starts to kill people, and you know takes him out, and then eventually the story starts to write itself. So nobody has control. It's really stupid. Uh, really cheesy, but it you could definitely get the uh, Evil Dead vibes, like they were inspired by it, which I think I did tell you about that one, Jeremy. I said like so far I've watched a couple movies. That yeah, yeah, you Evil were Dead. telling me about that. Yeah. They were very inspired by. Uh, yeah, you had like the the camera, like you know, first person just like twirling around and like busting through doors and stuff. Um, but yeah, we got Scott Johnson saying I'm watching Mighty Morphin Power Rangers in order, first time since I was a kid, and I'm amazed about how many episodes I've never seen before. I used to watch it religiously every day. I never watched Power Rangers. I met Myth one of them. Big Power Ranger fan. Say what? I met one of them. Oh, yeah? Uh, Rocky, uh, the Red Power Ranger. Uh, Steve Cardenas. Or, I think that's his name. Hmm. I think. Matt, hasn't your wife met all of them at this point? Yes, all the original ones. Except for Trini, of course. She passed away a long time ago. Yeah. My wife has a big poster of the original Power Rangers all autographed, including oh, wow. Alpha and what's his name, Z uh, the Zordon. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, I could not get into that show. Um, I, Adam, <coughs> you said you were into it? Uh, for a little I, bit. I think it might have been for people more like, I don't know, a little bit younger than us. But I don't know how old your wife is. I don't, I don't, I won't ask. Yeah. Um, Matthew, I got a little girl crying. I may be back. Okay. I guess right. gotta jump real quick. Okay. See okay. y'all guys. Good luck. Hope Thank it won't be too long. All right. Thanks. All right. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I just was not a fan of the Power Rangers at all. Uh, I watched. So first of all, original Power Rangers. I knew it existed. Um, I was not allowed to watch Power Rangers because my parents thought it was really stupid until <laughs> they did a spinoff show called Dino Thunder. And they were like, oh, that's dinosaurs. Jeremy likes dinosaurs. He can watch that. Yeah. And then suddenly it was okay. Hmm. But like, um, which had the Green Ranger was like their men from the original was like their mentor for that. Um it was it was fine. Um, the uh, martial arts went from iffy to pretty good at, at random. Basically, when it switched from when it was actually the Power Rangers show to when it was became the Japanese like Zhu Ranger, which is what that's from. It's a different. It's a couple different shows that they smashed together to make Power Rangers in America. I gotta ask you guys because um, has any. Uh, has either of you ever seen a show called Street Sharks? I remember no. it. I don't think I watched it. I might have had one or two action figures as a kid, but I didn't get into it. I, I think I've seen a few episodes of the first season, but I, I kind of thought it was amusing. It's like Ninja Turtles, but sharks, you know? Right. right. Yeah, like super buff sharks that with arms and legs that run around on the street. Street mm -hmm. Sharks. <laughs> so Is there a ripoff of Ninja Turtles? Well, it's four brothers that get, you know, genetically mutated into. Oh yes, it's it, it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, I was I, I saw someone like on a YouTube uh, channel one time saying like, who would win, the Ninja Turtles or the Street Sharks? I'm like, well, sharks eat turtles, so. <laughs> yeah. But the turtles Tonight are ninjas. We... 
you know, tonight we dine on turtle soup. That's true. Um, first Ninja Turtles movie. <laughs> I love the Ninja Turtles. So Thanks. fun. I still, it, this is so stupid. There is a, uh, like a 35th anniversary, is it 35 or 30 years for Ninja Turtles of the original uh, film? Probably, Probably 30. 35. Might yeah. Be. Um, but anyway, it, uh, no, it has to be 30. It's 30. It was 1990. Are we talking about the characters themselves or the movie? The movie. The Looking first movie. A... If, I think it's 30 years. But they did a, uh, a reunion show on YouTube uh, with the, like the whole... 30. 30. They did a reunion with like the That's entire cool. cast and the creators and everything on YouTube. And I have it on my watch later list. Even has the voice actors that show up in the stream. It looks really fun. I can't, I, I need to watch it. They did something like that with the X-Men movie too. And then like Ryan Reynolds comes in as Deadpool and everybody's just like, Oh, uh, gotta go. You know, <laughs> that's funny. Um, let's see. Uh, Rob D. Uh, weirdest death scene I've ever seen in a movie was in one of the leprechaun movies. He blows up a woman to where she looks like a duck. And then she basically explodes. <laughs> Oh God, that reminds me. Have either of you ever seen the movie Faust? They uh, Red Letter Media reviewed it on Best of the Worst. It's like a ripoff of Spawn, but not. It's about a guy who sells his soul to the devil and becomes this like anti-hero that looks like Spawn, but not. Uh, it, it's uh, there's a scene where this demon like dominatrix woman gets turned into gets her boobs and her butt expanded. She becomes a puddle of boobs and butt. Ew. It's so disgusting. <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing, though. Weird. I think the, uh, that kind of reminds what he says, Rob. He says, reminds me of um, Big Trouble in Little China when one of the uh, the guys, like, puffs up one of his powers. Yeah, and he like, explodes in the yeah, uh, camera. Like, yeah, he blows up like a big giant balloon. He's, like, yelling the whole time, and then all of a sudden just poof, blows up and you see like little bits of them fly around but it just looks like a popped balloon there's no blood and guts in it <laughs> or we uh, can't we oh go ahead jeremy it's big trouble in little china's pg-13 yeah, i love well, that movie well yeah, we can't movie. we can't forget whenever in jaws the revenge where you get harpooned by a boat and the shark just explodes mm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah. after yeah. the shark roars at you yeah. like a lion Roar. <laughs> <laughs> or they actually uh, also debunked the original Jaws with the shooting of the air tank like that wouldn't have happened yeah then they did, that was like a Mythbusters show wasn't it yeah that basically the shark the tank would have just flew away yeah. <laughs> yeah now if they shot the tank and it went directly into the shark's mouth it could have hit hard enough actually no we're talking about a shark they can eat a barrel of nails and be fine. Um, I, I, I was thinking with enough speed, it could like puncture, like break the cartilage, and like it would die of internal bleeding. Yeah, that'd be boring to watch, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, like we don't want we don't want accuracy. We want explosions. Yeah. yeah well, that's what Jaws two was. I I remembered. I think Jaws 2 was the first Jaws movie that I watched. Oh. I liked that's it. That's unfortunate. And then I remember like when I was like older, I was like, I want to watch Jaws again. Like I went back and I was like, wait a second, where'd all the boats go? Because you know they were all in their little uh yeah. boats. And I was like, This isn't Jaws. What's going on here? <laughs> like I was like really confused. Do you know that that was not actually supposed to be what Jaws 2 was gonna be about? Uh uh. It was actually supposed to be a prequel about Quint on the USS Indianapolis. Hmm. Like whenever the ship went, the the ship went down, and um, they were stranded at sea with all those sharks. Oh yeah, no, that needed more TNA. Wasn't that based on a true story? Yeah, the USS Indianapolis. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. It's, that'd be so scary. Um, it, it'd be like Open Water, the world's most boring movie. Open Water. About, have you not ever heard of Open Water? Uh. -uh. It's the first shark attack movie with real sharks. Hmm. It's literally about. It was based on a real thing that happened where a couple got left af, uh, on a scuba diving trip. The boat left without them, and then they drowned. Oh. But it, it is the most boring. They died. 
<laughs> yeah, it, it is literally the most boring movie that I've seen. I yeah. didn't like it either. I, Andy Warhol's Empire State, that's 10 hours long of just the front of the Empire State, is a better film. <laughs> hmm. Um, we have some questions here by a uh, small time tourist trap is well he's this isn't a question tourist trap is a weird movie uh, it's a horror movie I'll never be able to watch the rifleman the same way I think Chuck Connors needed the money I haven't probably seen the tourist trap I haven't heard of it is it yeah, like an uh, 80s film yeah, I'm assuming so which means that that uh, Chuck Connors is probably significantly older since the rifleman came out in what the six. The 50s, 60s. It was in black and white. I remember that. Oh, wow. Small Time does ask better movie, Leprechaun or Willow? Willow. 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 I haven't even seen Leprechaun. I'm going to say Willow. Leprechaun what? is interesting because it's Jennifer Aniston's first film. That's what I was just going to say. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. She acts significantly better. Well, Warwick Davis is the best actor, but Jennifer Aniston, it's like, yeah, okay. She's pretty solid in this, and no one else really is. <laughs> yeah, how many uh, Leprechaun movies aren't? Don't they have a Leprechaun in space? Yeah, that's the fourth one, and then there's two in the hood. Well, actually, no, there's uh, there's like eight of them now. Oh wow! Well, yeah, they have like Jason in space, so that doesn't surprise me. I think that's what we just everything that has like it's gone too far. Just throw it in space. Hellraiser was in space at Dracu one point. Dracula was in space. Uh -huh. Star Wars was in space. Shut that up. Was stupid. That was stupid. Uh, except for J.J. Abrams' Star Wars movies. Oh, Those aren't in space. <laughs> we were both giving them like, boot yourself. You know? <laughs> yep. I'm sorry. Y you know, you were kind of right, though. The J.J. Abrams' Star Wars movies are barely in space. So. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the Last Jedi was in space. Yeah, um, it was the only positive of that movie. The, like, old, the old space chase. I didn't like it. Uh, Scott John Johnson says, uh, I watched Street Sharks. Nice. Rob D., did you ever see the reunion for the 1994 Little Rascals? Spanky is bald now. I nope. have not. I did not. I never um, saw... Well, I did see that's a stupid thing to say. I did see that movie like once. I've never seen it, I don't think. It was no, one of those Rascals. things like, what, 1994? What grade was I in in 1994? I was born in 1994. I was five. Ugh. Yeah, uh, 1994. Okay. How old yeah. were you? How old were you? Me? No, Matthew. Five, nine? Yeah, no. Let that sink in. Yeah, nine. I was nine. Let that sink in, people. I hang out with a bunch of elderly men. You, well, whipper, you whippersnapper. You have <laughs> All my friends are significantly older than me. <laughs> yeah, well, I feel like that's a baby freaking out downstairs. Sorry. Um, past her bedtime. We changed her bed into a toddler bed. Yeah. She's almost two. So it's like now she can free roam around. So she just gets up and bangs on the door. You're your wife. <laughs> yeah, hold on one second. Sorry. All right. Um, did you see the J Rob D's Jaws 5 comment, Adam? Yeah, yeah, Jaws 5. The shark will be big enough to swallow the entire fishing boat. I was like... That's hold. Shark Attack 3. I was going to say Shark Attack 3 or the Meg or something. <laughs> well, I mean, Shark Attack 3 has the greatest pickup line I've ever heard. I actually... I can't I, I met that guy, John Barrowman. I met him and I talked to him. It's just like, dude, I remember the first movie I saw you. It was the one with the Megalodon. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah. That was a very interesting movie with a very memorable quote. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I just laughed. And I'm just like, and he was going to go sign another autograph. So I was just like, yeah, see you. Thanks and everything. But yeah, um, oh, my gosh, it's. It serves no place in the film. It's just it's she just, goes for it. That's the funny thing. She's you, like into it. Do you know what we're talking about, Matthew? Can I say the quote? Mm. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait till until uh, we're done because we don't want to get an explicit tag. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, recently, 
small time heard that J.J. Abrams was referred to as Jar Jar Abrams, it seems appropriate. Hey, yeah, for years he's been called that since yeah. he made Force Awakens. Like, yeah. be, do you guys remember him. that uh, that rumor out there that oh, on that desert planet, J.J. Uh, Abrams put the jar, uh, the bones of Jar Jar Binks, and you can see him in the movie. Do you guys remember that? That uh, do you remember rumor? when they said that Finn was Lando's son? Yeah, they, they were so many. So this is why There's, when those rumors come out, Adam, I remember you you in a private conversation, you're like, did you guys hear about that uh, thing with it? Disney's going to oh, yeah, remake? Yeah. It's like, that's why I don't buy into any of these Star Wars rumors. People right. get right crap posted it's up there. Time, it's time for a rant. Uh-oh. The internet is a curse on fandom as in general. <laughs> Jeremy, I'm surprised you didn't say, okay, hold on. I got to go get on the can. You know? <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't take the whole desktop with me. <laughs> Just go if, I had a, if I had a 20-foot uh, cable... For a twenty foot cable for both my microphone and my webcam, I would just like take them in there. Actually, I don't know if the water got turned back on. We were having a massive water leak, so we might not have water right now, which means that I drank the last of my water. That's bad. Um, uh, the, the pee go ahead. This bottle. Go ahead, Adam, because I was going to say something after you. You go ahead first. Oh, I was just going to say, yeah. I mean, I've. I'm honestly like when it comes to like rumors like that and everything, I'm just like, I'm, I'm kind of like approaching it's just like, well, I'll, whatever happens, happens. I'll believe it when I see it type thing. But, but what were you going to say? Um, Jeremy, you said you had a rant. I did. The internet's a, a, a curse on um, <laughs> Jeremy's rant. And, um, I hate it. I hate it so much. So, okay. Cool. So basically, you can post whatever uh, you want to on the the internet, and then like stupid sheeple, you can't even call them people; they're sheep. They just believe it. Yeah. Like you could just say that Justin Bieber moons the camera in Last Jedi, and people will go like before Last Jedi came out, and they're like, <gasps> "What?" And then there'd be like, years old. There'd be like a thousand people um, that Star Wars girl style, like screaming into the camera about how awful that is. And then there'd be another thousand people like reacting to the trailer and then claiming that they could see it in the trailer. Yeah. Like, uh, I remember someone claimed that in the distant shot of uh, Ray, like swinging her lightsaber around like a doofus and cutting that rock in half in the trailer of Last Jedi, you could see the outline of Yoda. Like where? Yeah, I remember that that rumor going around too. Yeah, people uh, like to blow things up. You know, there's like when, these. Go ahead. Remember when Ray was Obi Wan's daughter or granddaughter? Yeah. yeah. Granddaughter. He was remember, like, wait a second. He's been dead since A New Hope. He, he, all right, here's a here's a new rumor I want to start. Uh, Ray is Anakin's grandma. There we go. The, because of the time loop, right? That was the rumor. She found the uh, world between worlds, goes back in time. Like she brings balance to the force and goes back, right? To raise Anakin the right way. Or keep Is this him. actually a thing? I just pulled this out of my no. ass. Well, that was, there, there was a legitimate rumor that was going around. That <laughs> 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 I what think we it? broke Jeremy. Ray, <laughs> I'm not kidding. Look it up. Ray is Shmi is Shmi. Here, I'll I'll look it up. Ray is Shmi is the uh, is the thing. That's how. She, that's why she's a Skywalker. I mean, it's better than Ray and Shmi. Oh my gosh, they do have something on it. Yeah, that was the huge thing that came out before the movie hit. It says Ray equals Shmi. Explained basically, Darth <laughs> Corleo. <host. laughs> Well, there's a there's like this thing that um, Palpatine figured out time travel using the world between worlds, and I guess that's how it's uh, tied into it. No, you know what? 
Ahsoka is Anakin's great grandma. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna look that up. Ahsoka is Anakin's daughter. What? Uh, grandmother. You know, I'm just gonna type Ray is and just to see what I'm gonna find the most interesting thing I can find. Um Shmi Skywalker Lars. There's a Wikipedia thing on that. I don't see anything about uh Anakin accepts Ahsoka as his Padawan. It's funny, like the Google when you type in like the Google search bar. I'm oh jeez. The the most disturbing one I found was Ray is Bastiel Sean. Hmm. Uh leave Basil alone. Ahsoka is Anakin's daughter. Ahsoka is Anakin's daughter fan fiction. Ahsoka is Anakin's sister fan fiction. Is Ahsoka Anakin's Padawan? Is Ahsoka Anakin's apprentice? Ahsoka I found, Anakin. I found one I'm that said for, Go on, Adam, before yeah, I, I found, derail everything. Found one that said Ray is Revan. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, I remember that one. Um no, I was going to say, careful as you go down there. You'll start finding Anakin Ahsoka Rule 34 stuff going on. Oh, yeah, that's that dirty, dirty thing. I'm going to say, is... Well, okay. Shmi is Ray, right? That's the that's the thing that we were looking Shmi at. Shmi and Ray? Ray, Ray is... Shmi. <laughs> Small time says Windows is checking for a solution to the stupid sh- chainsaw problem. Okay, there's a Reddit thing, so this is probably going to be good. All oh right. no! Um, careful, careful on there. There's there's some scary things on Reddit. I have been toying around. Okay, this is a post. I'm just going to go over this first header thing. I don't know how how Reddit really works. I've never gone to the site to mess around. Um. This guy says, I've been toying around with this speculation as a way to end and begin the Skywalker saga. What if there is some weird sort of time loop and the Skywalkers are contained within it like the ones were contained on Mortis? So Shmi is Rey. Anakin is the son of Kylo Ren. Shmi returns in time to a sandy planet like Jakku because it's like home. Um, Anakin is corrupted by a waiting Palpatine whose master, Darth Plagueis, Snoke, has a vision of the future that Ray will return and the cycle repeats. I don't know. It's a weird idea, but it keeps popping up in my head. I mean, could that have been better than what we got? <laughs> uh, okay, sure. I mean, it's I wild. Mean... <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a stupid, silly idea, but it's... I mean, I don't know. I kind of like it better than... Oh, Palpatine is Ray's grandfather or dad because it's his clone, his deformed clone who turns out to be like a normal dude. So he calls it his son when it should be a clone. Okay. Oh God. Was that really it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ray's, Ray's that's stupid. That's actually dumber than I realized. Ray, Ray's, Ray's father is a clone of Palpatine. But they say it's his son, but it's his clone, which it mentions that in the book. So it's it's the ripping off Attack of the Clones when Django's clone Boba is his son. Yeah. yeah. So it was oh, like because he couldn't he couldn't have like a an actual um, clone body that was powerful enough for him to take over. Well, so that's they, the Dark Empire problem. Yeah. Right. So there he was. That's when he decided after he had this. Uh, Deformed. I don't know why I keep saying deformed. What do they call it? A malfunction. Um, imperfect. The imperfect clone. It was just too. No force powers. It, it was it just doesn't like a, even look like. Um, right. He was a dud. I know. That's the thing. That's why he's he's the malfunction. He's the it's like. Oh well. That's when Palpatine. I think that's this is all in the novelization. He's like, well, I'm gonna have to let this happen naturally. So he lets his son clone out into the wild and mate and then produce an heir. 
That'd be that weird, way. like, you know, like if him knowing that his clone son got married and all the wedding, I'd be going, good, good. Mm. <laughs> so, so, so tell me, Matthew. Yep. Maybe maybe you can ask Star Raptor this. He might know. How does Gallius Rex fit, fit into this? He doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying that J.J. Abrams and, and friends don't actually care. So what you're saying is Chuck Windig is a mastermind that wrote yep. a trilogy about Jakku where none of it matters. Why did they, why were they trying to blow up the planet? Remember that was part of the thing they were trying to like bring up lava to destroy the entire planet. Was it <laughs> to destroy the rebels, but the rebels were all pl- flying in space. I, d- I don't know anymore. Um, Sorry. Go ahead. I was saying I was distracted by Small Times comments saying, in fairness, Palpatine was probably not considered much of a catch after Mace Windu wrecked him. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Rob D says, Jeremy, you should just rip up your toilet and bring it in your room. I'm sure you're strong enough. And Small Times says, he'll lose his deposit. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, exactly. I don't need that. Um, Scott Johnson, I think the rumor about the sequel trilogy has some legs. They aren't ever going to touch the sequel era in canon. There's no story to tell. They cut short the Kylo Ren comic series. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Small time says, speaking of clickbait, (laughs) I have to give Mike zero Zero. zero credit. He has great thumbnails on his videos. Is this the guy that everybody rants about? Because he like... Yeah, he's clickbait. Okay. Mike zero. Oh. Mike zero. Yeah, apparently he... No, Mike is... From the the famous uh, film Year One, with uh, Jack Black, what a classic! No, 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 no Mike Zero. Oh, oh. I, I know, I oh, know. Okay. I, I'm trolling you. Oh, yeah, okay. I got. I <laughs> uh, Rob D. Jeremy. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Crazy like, kid. Sounds like like sounds like Mars attacks. Like. <laughs> 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 Um, small time says windows is checking for a solution to the stupid chainsaw production <laughs> um scott johnson rumor has it Klieg lars appears in the background in the update a new hope film a third set of charred remains after the stormtrooper we're going to find this out right now we're going on disney plus that uh, way well, he's like just one leg oh there's the one leg bone uh body one um, leg bone? Huh? One leg bone. One leg bone, yeah. Um, I had posted little rumors on my website. I was like, more th- not rumors, theories. <coughs> I did a little theory blog on my website a long time ago. Like, I think it was before The Force Awakens happened. And it, I think part of it involved some of this stuff from A New Hope, like the um, before they went back and destroyed the Lars family. You guys have heard about like that. um, Seen the image of Vader telling Boba Fett to go to the Lars home and disintegrate the family. Uh, I don't think think I've seen that. No, I think it was like a little, someone made like a little comic image of it and put like a little bubble talking about it. I'm I'm looking right now. Um, Rob D says, yes, Matthew, go on to Reddit. Just go on to Tumblr, too, while you're at it. <laughs> a small time says, in fairness, Palpatine probably was not considered much of a cat. Oh, you guys already read that one. Uh, small time says, Chuck Windong, or Winding. Weedy. No, there, is, there isn't Weedy. a third body, people. That's just a rumor. Okay. Well, yeah, there was another one that uh, in Return of the Jedi that there's a uh, added scene with Luke. One of the deleted scenes is put in. Oh, hold on. Now we got to go in because that is a deleted scene. I've been meaning is to that look where he's building his lightsaber or something. Yeah, that was cut out last minute for pacing purposes. They because should it have kept that in. No, yeah. I don't think so. Well, it ruins it. his introduction. It's the coolest thing in that movie. I, yeah, well, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, his silhouette. I thought I was, I used to just watch that scene over and over again. Oh, well, they've yeah. been forced choking those. Uh, yeah, temple, temple guards. Yeah, yeah. He looks like such a badass. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Uh, I don't, Rocky. I don't think Lucasfilm knows anymore. 
It's very true. Uh, mm. Scott Johnson says, yes, there is a scene in Bounty Hunter Wars suggesting Boba was going to take out the Lars. Larses. Yeah, that, that scene is also not in there. <laughs> that I just... <laughs> The uh, built lightsaber construction scene, also not in the Disney Plus version. What's funny is I believe Mark Hamill claimed he never filmed that scene. Are we talking about the lightsaber one? I'm going to guess so. It's interesting. Well, it, it, it's a finished scene. Speaking of which, I was going to say, like, um, I bought this recently, and um, I wanted to get the original green one. Mm, mm-hmm. But I think it's like on Amazon for like eighty bucks. That so one is? The, no, not this one. I wanted to get uh, the original oh, Luke okay. Skywalker from Return of the Jedi, and it's like eighty bucks. Yeah, oh, that I, was one of the original six. That's I why actually, I actually have that. Yeah, that that was one of the originals. It's the same with uh, the R two D two. I have is pretty expensive okay. too because it, it's pre Disney. Excuse me, guys. I'm gonna go break into the Geek Sadix house real quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You just I, see me creep up behind you. Well, I mean, you have to to know they they did a re-release of that one, I believe. I think, and yeah, um, that figure, the re-release has like red text or like orangish text. So I don't know if but that's the box true. is different. So I don't know if the re-release is gonna uh, be a different price. Which that re-release is hard to you can't find it anymore either. Same with Palpatine. I remember I had I found Palpatine or Darth Vader, <laughs> the Jedi. I wanted to get it, didn't, and I regret it because I was never able to find it again except for on eBay at an outrageous price. Gotta love eBay. Yeah, and I just looked it up. It's sixty bucks on Amazon. Gosh, that's crazy. I'll sell it to you for. One hundred and twenty dollars. Right, I, <laughs> I get shipping. the like to say, <laughs> I get the YouTuber's friend discount there. Yes. <laughs> no, like I said, like the, the figures that I have that I like really like, I have to have them. I keep them. I think the only ones that I'm conflicted about are those Lord of the Rings ones that I have. Uh, the Lord of the Rings pops. Not. Never mind. I, the grammar that I just use is horrible. My wife uh, has a couple of Lord of the Rings pops. She does. She has, uh, oh, geez. Uh, their names are escaping me. The two hobbits, not Frodo. Uh, Sam? Pippin and Mary? Yeah, Pippin and Mary, yeah. Okay. I have Frodo and Sam. I have the uh, Barnes & Noble exclusive glow-in-the-dark Frodo uh, with a ring on. Oh, he's, uh, yeah, he does glow-in-the-dark, I think. But he's invisible. Yeah. It's just an empty box. Uh, no. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> um, and I have... Uh, one of the uh, the guys in black, the writers. It's been a long time since I've watched the movie. Um, and uh, Sauron, I have him too. I got Darth Maul. The I think mm. this is one of the Walmart. Walmart. Exclusive, yeah, Walmart exclusives. That's cool. Um, I think with the Ghostbusters stuff, I know they did a, a new Ghostbusters line. Um, I didn't get all of those. I just got uh, they did one with the Ghostbuster house. And two of the figures uh, that were like doing a movie, they do movie scenes now. They have a uh, Ray, or not Ray, they have Egon and Peter shooting Slimer in the air. But Peter comes with the ghost house, which is pretty cool. I'm sorry. Someone texted me saying Casablanca was boring. Casablanca. They need to take that, that comment back. It's one of the best films ever made. Casablanca? Yeah. Actually, I haven't seen it. I want to. What? Thank you. I haven't seen it either. Yes! Okay, we're going to have the Casablanca podcast right now. Greatest greatest film ever. It's beautiful. <laughs> Makes me cry every time. If it helps, though, I used to play... At, when I, uh, at my old job, I used to play that song uh, As Time Goes By every day. Yeah. So I still know how you to play it. You should watch the movie. I want to. I just haven't gotten time to yet. Uh, Did you, get- you, you have time. You two have time to watch garbage, and and force me to read Godzilla King of the Monsters. For no time to watch Casablanca. Rob D says, "Did you get Boromir, or did he die?" Me or him? I didn't. Are, are you? I didn't get him either. 
I don't remember seeing that pop. I don't know if they still have the Lord of the Rings pops out there anymore, but I, I, I stopped. I stopped with the, the pops. Yeah. Well, you, I, sh you should have stopped before you started. You're funny. I know. <laughs> I was like, three, two, one. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've been removing everybody on this stream. I know. I'm surprised I wasn't the first one this time. I'm just... I know. Moving on up. <laughs> literally. Yeah. 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 And I'm I'm literally on the east side of you right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No joke. Seriously. Dude, you guys, yeah. what books are you looking for? Are there any on your list that you have to have that you're you're trying to trying to find? I actually did find one that was always on my list, and I already showed you guys. But um, Superman three, uh, <laughs> the quest for peace. Okay, both of you boot yourselves. I know it's your stream, Matthew, but boot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, no, I was always wanting to find like a paperback of the Lock, one of my favorite books, mm. and all they had was like the small mass market paperbacks, and. Um, uh, like I was talking to Matthew about this, this author, like he only, um, like normally most of his books. Now he wrote the Meg books, uh, uh, Steve Alton. I don't know if you guys have seen the Meg, but, um, uh, he mostly, uh, prints like hard covers out for like people that pre-order them on his website. And then those people in turn sell those books for like $200 on eBay. That's insane. Does he usually sign them all though? Yeah, he does. Like, I, I actually pre-ordered a book that's supposed to be coming out, and he, I'm supposed to get a signed copy whenever he. Uh, but I guess with, co I guess with COVID, he's gonna be like, like, yeah, I'll wait. <laughs> yeah. Um, about those Funko Scott Johnson says, I don't see the point of pops, and Small Time says it's going to be awkward when one of those boxes tip over and it's full of Funko pops. Oh yeah, Jeremy. Yeah. <laughs> there are, I own two Funko pops. I do own two. So and they I, have... I didn't buy either of them. They were given to me. I ne I've only bought myself one Funko Pop ever, and it burns in a fire. Mm. Every other one has been given to me. Yeah, I'll give you one. The Spider Man I, one, and I sold it. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> no offense. No somebody, offense. Somebody, somebody, I, I, somebody sent me one that I didn't like. I didn't care at all about the character so i was like i'm taking this to barnes and noble for a refund <laughs> and you had they, a spider-man uh, one yeah i had a miles morales one that he oh. gave me. so uh, that'll be worth like three hundred dollars when the miles morales movie comes out <laughs> it was in yeah. a, that was the uh the funko uh subscription box exclusive. i sold it for 25 dollars oh, and the dude you. was mad at me because there's a little crease in the top he's like you didn't show it in the picture like i did some of these collectors bad are, review on eBay. Some of these collectors are the worst. Um, I'll be right. I'll be right back, you guys. Uh, carry the show. Okay. Oh God, I need a beer. <laughs> I was gonna I say like. Beer. I was gonna say, what are we gonna say? Like, okay, uh, like, let's think of the grossest things to say. I'm just no, oh God. Okay, no, no, I can tell you something. No, no, no. no, no. Yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> I don't condone this, Matthew. <laughs> we can talk about taints. What? <laughs> Taint chafing? Anyway, moving on. So what books are you looking for, Jeremy? <laughs> uh, the Zardoz movie novelization. I need to get three of them so we can do paper movies. And I need new firewood, so please, uh, yeah, send me one. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, legit, like, I'm so excited that Zardoz has a movie novelization. I'm actually looking up how much it is online. It is... Oh, hold on. I hate it when they don't show the price. Holy... Whoa, really? Paperback, it's $18. Mass market paperback is 25 bucks. Oh. I might yep. have to... Might have... <laughs> That's why you're wanting to recommend. You're trying to... <laughs> I'm trying to bankrupt us there. <laughs> no, but it's legit like something like I'm so happy that that exists, that there's more Zarda, Zarda's uh, merchandise for me to buy. I actually want to, uh, you know, do some bragging rights here. I'm the first one to finish the Predator. I haven't even started it. 
Yeah, I, I started it like right as right as soon as you announced it. I was just like, oh hey, here it is on Overdrive. Click reserve and then I'm legit not looking forward to my re-raid. <laughs> I finished it last <laughs> night. I'm almost done with Hunters and Hunt Hunted, and I'm so bored. It's so terrible. Small Time says he wants the Hungarian Han Solo novels translated. And yeah, Scott every time that someone talks to someone to translate them, they give up after like a couple pages. Rob <laughs> D. Rob D says, "I want to get the new Jedi Order source book. It's the only thing from New York. Oh no, I'm sorry. It's the only thing from New Jedi Order I don't have." It's not worth it. I add it. It doesn't add much of anything. There's not a lot of EU in it. It's Wizards of the Coast we're talking about, and they did a terrible job with the Star Wars property. And Scott Johnson wants Shadow Games sci-fi books. No, the sci-fi oh, books yeah, I have that. Yeah, that's a $200 uh, hardcover. Wow, really? Yeah, it was not. there weren't a lot of printings of it. Um, <sighs> it's very... It's not as bad. I saw a copy of The Last Jedi, the Jax Pavin one, the fourth book in Coruscant Nights. It's someone's listed it at fifteen hundred dollars on eBay. No way. On no. the hardcover, yes. No, come on. I I have it like right up there. Like, and I saw. I think the I saw that cover. No, not the, the hardcover. Hard cover. That's what I'm saying. It's the hardcover. Oh, okay. I was just no, like, not the mass market. The mass market's seven ninety nine. I was like, I can get that at Barnes and Noble right now. <laughs> I mean, no, no, the hardcovers for Coruscant Nights because Coruscant Nights came out as a trilogy and a three in one, and that one usually goes for like hundred ten. But the Last Jedi was a separate book, sci-fi book club exclusive, and that goes from anywhere from five hundred to a thousand dollars typically. This guy's like price are. Uh, he used to be a guy that I do business with. I know him um, mm -hmm. on eBay, and he has upped his prices on everything, and it's just a ripoff. I, uh, when I was helping my parents clean out their uh, their attic, I found one of my old um, kid Godzilla books I had when I was like seven years old, and it's just like Godzilla on Monster Island or something like that. And I looked it up to see how much that was. It's like a ten page book. It was worth $130. That's surprising. I've not heard of Godzilla books before. Yeah, they actually have... Uh, there's a novelization, I think, to King of the Monsters. Not the uh, not the new one, the old one. <laughs> okay. But it's like a... It's like, I think it's a YA novelization. It's like... I'm going to look it up. It has a, actually a really cool cover on it. I'm going to look it up right now and uh, show you. But... um. Well, I found out that they made a Blade Runner comic book that was an adaptation of the Blade Runner movie as opposed to Do Android's Dream of Electric Sheep, which has also been made into a comic book. And now there's like a game, a Blade Runner spinoff like comic, which I like don't give a crap about because I don't give a crap about anything else besides the Blade Runner movie, the Blade Runner. Have you ever played the Blade Runner uh, point and click game from the 90s? Mm hmm actually really good it got re-released on gog.com and i picked it up for like a couple bucks it's really a, a solid solid adaptation of the novel do andrew's dream of electric sheep by the way matthew i don't take responsibility for what jeremy said <laughs> i'm scared <laughs> to death now oh I'm about here. about the uh the thing that went in the other thing <laughs> the thingy into the bingy no but uh here you go jeremy this is Oh, that's nifty. This is like a, I think a, a kid's novelization to like the original Godzilla King of the Monsters movie oh, that's cool. from the fifties. I used to. It's the weirdest cover to the Kama Sutra I've ever seen. I'm going to have to like go back and do a stream snips of Jeremy, like cackling. Well, he definitely had yeah. bread ball part two minus the bread ball. <laughs> Yeah, just like have a stream sniff of like all the times we just lost it. <laughs> yeah, I know, Adam. You probably got a good one out of here tonight too. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just I was drinking my drink, and he said like, "Oh yeah, Pierce Brosnan gargled Jack Daniels and nails." I'm like, his <laughs> <laughs> voice sounded awful. <laughs> um, so there was this going on over here. What did I? Did I miss anything good? I heard you talking about um, what Blade Runner. Yeah, we. Oh were yeah, I was talking about playing the Blade Runner. Uh, game from the 90s, the point and click one. Actually, really good. 
I found a Blade Runner movie poster that I think I showed you, Jeremy. Yeah, the Drew Struzan. Yeah, I was just like, I should send that to you. That could be like your new, <laughs> another housewarming gift. <laughs> yeah, no, if you get it framed. It could be between the Nigels. <laughs> yeah, uh, I have a Lord of the Rings poster of like it's like the map of Middle Earth. I've had that since my college days, before like 2010, and it's still in the little box, like the, the rounded. Um, oh. The rounded okay. I, I used to have a map of Middle Earth that was a tra- tapestry. I actually found this one. I was surprised when I found it. Um, I was actually tempted to get it for you, Matthew. It's on Amazon. Hold on, let me. Uh... Oh heck yeah! <laughs> yeah, you know, there was this time I wanted to get you know those little tiny um, picture frames that are like three inches tall. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the what is the the picture three and a half by five three by five no smaller it's like a maybe a three by one by three just a yeah just a really tiny rectangle that's a two by three I always thought that would be kind of cool like at work to get my favorite movie posters print them out like really tiny and put them in those little picture frames just kind of like yeah they call those uh wallet size yeah Yeah. I think that would be pretty cool to to do uh so that way you know it'd be cool to have a bunch of big posters but I just I don't have any posters here in my house. And Adam, there is a poster that I'm supposed to, uh, I was supposed to have given you, I think, right? A, a poster? Yes. Uh, there was one that I told you. It was back when you first started, uh, like we started talking, I think. What poster was? Oh. Chewbacca with a surfboard. That's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like standing in like a bathing suit with sunglasses on holding a surfboard. That That was it. Yep. Yeah. You still want that? <laughs> sure. Okay. We'll do put, lunch. <laughs> put it in your bathroom or something. <laughs> it's really oh, absurd. that's gonna be yeah. awesome. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna do put it in the bathroom with uh when my wife doesn't know and just kind of just wait for the reaction. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <We're surfing. laughs> um, did you guys read Rob D? I I did not. I hadn't got to that part yet. Oh, okay. Uh, the first time I looked up the value of something out of curiosity on eBay was I looked up what my first Fast and Furious orange supermodel car was going for the week after Paul Walker died. Oh. This is probably an unpopular opinion. I have I actually haven't seen any of the Fast and the Furious movies. You're not missing anything. I think oh, I terrible. saw the first one in theaters. But in junior high? They are some of the mo- biggest garbage films I've ever seen in my life. They are just stupid, and not even in a funny way. They're just dumb. The fact that there's going to be a tenth one upsets me greatly. Is it like in space? <laughs> Have they gone there yet? Fast With Waru in space. <laughs> Waru's the villain. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's the Waru race. They're racing through Waru. Yeah, we got sucked into an interdimensional being. His name is Waru. <laughs> <laughs> Vin Diesel and The Rock fight again for reasons. 2001 is when it came. The first, the Fast and the Furious. I thought you were talking about a space odyssey. Like, that's the crossover, Fast and Furious, 2001. The monolith shows up. (laughs) Oh, gosh. Oh, before I left, we were talking about Funko. There's there's one line of Funko that I would like to have gotten. It was a book. Either one of you guess. What I actually contacted them about and said, "Hey, look into this one." Of course, nobody cares what I have to say. Anybody? <laughs> what? Is it a Dragon Slayer one? Yep. I was about to what? say. What? Yep. I was I, like, I got this idea. There's a film, Dragon Slayer. Yeah, they're not going to care about that. Yeah, they did. I mean, you know, I have a uh, a dragon pop from. Uh, Skyrim, I think I threw the. I oh, took it out. I took it out of the box. It's shit. like An Anduin or something like that. I mean, I know that's a character from World of Warcraft. Ambium? That's no. what I feel. When <laughs> that, that, that. It's something that starts with an A and it's just dragon. He looks really cool. ass. No. <laughs> Sorry, right. s- small time says the crystal car was what. The- <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than the crystal meth. <laughs> That's the winner. 
Yep. Fast and Furious. <laughs> that buck actually attacked me the other day. Oh, you did. It did. You sent us a video, and uh, just like the Crystal Star likes to assault people, their mind and physically now. Ouch. Mm. <laughs> what are you doing? That was like, there's the new, there's the. Uh, I know. I was, I was just waiting. I was, that's a slow zoom in right there. I was going to say, when you, when you do the stream snip, like that's how it's going to start. It's like, then it's going to go geek static will go. It's going to zoom up and then like a little turd going to pop up on his face. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's about my, uh, you can zoom in on what I have to show. Your deodorant there. It's literally deodorant. It's what like no, look at that. That is uh, some Dollar Shave Club deodorant. Mm. What's that? I don't like the smell of it. Oh, that's my Charvel. Have you shown that? That's right. Yeah, yeah. I just can't remember. I bought it. Yeah. I kind of noticed that we all play instruments, but yet we have never ever played on our streams. That's, on our that's for a reason. Yeah. Except for Adam, there is no reason for that. <laughs> Adam right. could actually play an instrument fairly well. I haven't really picked mine up in a long. Well, I played at our uh, worship, um, like in the in the church for a while, um, but like my skills have like really crashed after like, uh, high school and early college. Like when I had a band and played all the time, and people would be like, "Oh my gosh, you're awesome!" Now I'm like, I don't remember anything. I was actually tempted, like I should like bring out my accordion on a stream, like. But I'm like my baby's asleep, and oh dang! Yes, you got to be your introduction next time. <laughs> you know, de, 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 de. <laughs> play <laughs> dueling banjos on the accordion. Dueling banjo. I'm gonna try that tomorrow, and I'll send it to you. Yeah, I'm <laughs> curious what that would sound like. <laughs> um, Scott Johnson says uh, it's bad when the hardcover attacks you. Oh yeah. It was the hardcover that yeah, attacked it me. Was. Did it leave a bruise? Uh, uh, mental bruise or emotional bruise. There we go. Yeah. See. Yeah. And you know what? You know if that thing would have killed you, you know what the cause of death actually would have been? Bad what? taste. COVID. <laughs> it's synonyms. Synonyms yeah. right there. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> when the whole box sets attacks you, you're done. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. That's that's scary. That's um, you know what, I, guys? It's eleven thirty-seven. Oh, I don't is. have I don't have anything to show you. I'm done too. Yeah, but I don't really want to stop. Do, do you guys want to pull up Netflix and watch something, or do you guys? Uh, want to do it? Is that too late for you guys? I have to be up early tomorrow for. I have a gym at seven in the morning. I mean, I can stay, but. I mean, we I can we can watch some garbage. You want to start some garbage? What's I mean, on? We could watch one of my films because they're short. Can I? Uh, let me. Uh, I gotta set up my uh, camera so I can. Work. You know what? We could watch. Oh wait, you two don't have Amazon Prime. You. you. What about Tubi? Is that on the computer? Uh, I don't know. I. I to be what's, watched what's now. It? It's it's there. Tubi. Uh, what's a stupid horror movie name? You guys want to do this? It's Tubi's free. I got Tubi. What does it mean? Register. Just don't. Um, I don't think you have to. I'm just going to click on something and see what happens. Uh, if it just starts, it just starts playing. So you don't have Probably. to register. Rob D says, if you're going to play the banjo, you got to play it in the overalls with a straw hat and a p big piece of grass in your teeth. Well, I can promise the grass in my teeth. I don't have any banjo uh, overalls, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you guys want to do start a watch along real quick? We could watch a shorter movie. Uh, That's fine some, with me. Some uh, just it's free. Uh I, I'm on there. I'm looking for something garbage. You have a garbage movie. Uh, guys in the comments, do you guys want to pull up Tubi on one of your what, browsers? There's a Fred 2 movie? Are you kidding me? Fred 2? What's Fred? There's a Fred 3. Fred is the original YouTube persona. He's It's awful, by the way. 
I saw Fred one when it came out. It was awful. Huh. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna Keep remove you. myself real quick so I can reposition my uh, camera. Okay. Okay. Oh, so you're gonna you. reposition, huh? Huh, huh, huh. Um, anybody in the comments want to pull up your pull up Tubi and uh, let's all look for something really stupid and funny, what? And goofy, just something goofy. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I think this is going to be commercials. Hopefully, all of our commercials sync up. If not, whatever. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> uh, some sort of stupid 80s film would be awesome. Um, I'm looking in the horror section right now. Uh, Reanimator's on here. Oh, it is? Yeah. All three reanimators are on here. Really? Yeah. Small time staying up. Small time. Pull up a uh, pull up another browser next to uh, next to the stream, and uh, pull up Tubi. Um, are you kid Shark Kansas Women's Prison Massacre? What? See, when you find stuff like that. And it's like 2016. You know they're doing it for like the stupid. Yeah, that's not going to be fun to watch. So it's not. Yeah, it's like oh they they're doing it intentionally. I don't like that kind of crap. I like the legit like oh these people in the 80s are like thought they were doing something cool. Oh, Scott Johnson is out. Later, Scott. Terror birds. Oh, 2016. Hell, baby. 20, that Chud was 2 was on here. Bud the Chud, which is really bad. That's not even funny about though. Oh, yeah. Rob D., I just took my BEC CPA exam today. I'm partying tonight. Well, I hope, I hope that means you're partying with us. Oh, God. They don't even have the good... Uh, uh, the Return Story of the Camp. Living Dead films. What about Return of the Living Dead 3? Uh, I mean, it's better than Dead Necropolis. Um, Pet Graveyard? Oh, that's 2019. Bat Out of Hell? 2016. Dang. Some of these, some of these posters are pretty decent. Um, they grab your attention, but I don't want anything new. Nothing from Hold the 2000s. On. We got to look up something here. Yeah. Okay, no Zardoz on here. Oh Damn. yeah, I I tried. I tried. I tried that too. Um What is this? Oh, no, no. Well, Manos the Hands of Fate is on here, but I'm not sure if we want to take a nap. Yeah. I, I wish you could sort by release date. A release year. It would be cool. Madman, nineteen eighty-two. Uh, you ever watched the car, nineteen seventy-seven? No, I have, I have not. Is Madman, nineteen eighty-two, a horror movie? I don't know. I've never heard of it. I haven't either. I I don't know. There's like a TV show. Killer Crocodile 2, 1990. Ugh. House. Have you seen House, 1985? Ding yeah. Dong Dead. Yeah, House is actually genuinely a good film. Is it? Okay. Yeah. I know that's like on my list of uh, stupid things to watch. Bone Hill Road. Sounds like your OnlyFans. <laughs> Now the fans are going to wonder if there is an OnlyFans. Nah. I don't know. Yeah. If there is one. Vipers. Oh my gosh, that's that girl's name that's in all these stupid movies. Tara, Tara Reed, is that her name? No idea. That actress that's in uh, The Big Lebowski. The young one? The young yeah. actress? Yeah. Oh god, I can't remember who that she's is. Like a, like a drunk now. Every time you see her, she's wasted. Oh, that's funny. Day of the Dead, 
You ever see uh, that one? What was it? Day of the Dead. Uh, yeah, that's a good movie. Oh, oh, Silent Night, Deathly Night Two is on here, which is basically you don't even need to see Silent Night, Deadly Night One. Although that's, I don't think that's on here. But the two basically recaps one for most of the film. Silent Night, Deadly Night. Okay, two, part two. Part two. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. I see. Pretty you want you want to watch it, or you want to watch something you haven't yes. seen? Silent uh, Night, Deadly Night three. The rest are really like four. You're five. Not gonna, oh wow, they're not enjoyable. Okay, but but two is pretty solid. Silent Night, Bloody Night, nineteen seventy two. So are you you guys uh, you guys want to do the Silent Night, Deadly Night, um, part two? Wait, what are we doing? <laughs> on si- on Tubi. Silent Night, Deadly Night, Part 2. Silent Night, Deadly Night, Part 2. Just picking some random... It's cheesy... got the garbage day scene that's become a meme. Some Oh, okay. I know what that is. <laughs> I want to see that. Okay. That's, that's two. That's two. Adam, you in? For Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2 on Tubi? Sure. <laughs> I'm going to put out a little social media thing. If anybody, you know, if nobody cares. <laughs> um, right now, we are about to watch Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2. What the heck was that? Oh, I was Is that a rice cake? It's a burger. Brahms burger? Oh, that's a lot better than the, <laughs> the, the old bag of burgers. Yep. <laughs> five burgers for what? Five fifty-five. Yep. I, so I have to pee, but I don't want to give the illusion of whether I wear pants or not. You want me to remove you real quick? <laughs> yes. We all know you don't. So I mean, <laughs> <laughs> well, me and Adam are about to find out if he's got the pants or not. Actually, I'm just gonna look down, so I don't, I don't want to see. Oh my god! I, I saw oh, oh. <laughs> it's like that big. <laughs> <laughs> you have pants on. Is that big? <laughs> That's payback for calling me a big baby on the last week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, when he gets when he gets back, we'll hit play. So everybody, go get grab your snacks. Or whatever. Um, yeah, I've, I've got to work tomorrow. It's only four hours. And it's only almost midnight. And I just thought, you know, I don't want to get off here. And I think this would be fun to do. I'm so glad I found out about this Tubi and Pluto TV. Was it me that told you about I it? I think you did, yeah. And then, like, I just they didn't, like, I forgot about it. And then set a movie title on the F- Kindle Fire or uh, Fire TV and it pops up Pluto TV and then I think I sent you a message like I found out about this thing and you're like yeah I told you that <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> that's how I found that's how I found Dragon Slayer was um, uh, Pluto TV we're about to watch Silent Night I'm doing a Twitter post gotcha um, what's it called? Deadly Night. Silent Night, Deadly Night. Part two. Hashtag movie. I don't know what hashtags people are paying attention to. Yes, I'm, Robbie. Uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night, part two. Oh, God. Um, S- Sorry, I had to check my prostate. Hmm. You wash your hands? No. I wanted the E. coli in my mouth. Oh, okay. So that's bump. really disgusting. Hey, Adam, way, why would you say that? Hey, Jeremy, by the way, while you were gone, let's just say payback for calling me a big baby on you. <laughs> you are a big baby, and we know it. I told yeah. them about your dinghy. My my Magnum Dong? <laughs> I mean, you could always check my OnlyFans. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew, big contributor. 
What is it? What? (laughs) 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 To be. Hopefully, hopefully that hashtag isn't like bad. Um, Magnum Dong. Yeah. Okay, so you guys ready? Yeah, I already played it. I already played it just to get through the ad. But uh, it's I'm just I'm waiting for you guys. So okay, well, um, well, mine's just okay. We're gonna do a three, two, one, go here. Okay. Oh, um, hold on, I'm one second ahead. There we go. Okay, I gotta pause it. It keeps like playing. Just ah! okay, everybody. Three, two, one, go. All right, I don't have an ad. Me neither. Matthew about to get in trouble from the Twitter police <laughs> from the, the hashtags. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll Small find out. time said I would pay money just to stay off Jeremy's OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have <laughs> my OnlyFans. We have to pay him a fee to stay off of it. That's like Jeremy says, I will not strip for a dollar. And we like throw like hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> Why okay. in the world? Are we uh, like actually in the film now? Like, uh, there's like a couple walking on the sidewalk. What do you do? What film are you watching? Isn't it Silent Night, Deadly Night Part? Oh, I'm on Part Five. Dead gummit. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> do we need to start over? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, what you could do is you could skip to the one minute. Six minute, seconds, seven seconds, eight, nine, ten. So we're Nothing on part two. Yet. We're on part yes. two. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm. It's not. There's no ad. So. Okay, so just, this just got a Blu-ray re-release. It skipped twice. Or three times. Now uh, you said one oh seven mark. We're, well, we're at one twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two. Director of photography, Harvey Jenkins. Maybe that's Jenkins. Jenkins. Leroy Jenkins. Leroy Jenkins. (laughs) That would have been horrible if I never said anything. I watched like a completely different movie. (laughs) Every time we talk about something, you're like, I have no idea what they're talking about. (laughs) Is this a director's cut? I mean, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the extended edition. I'll show you an extended edition. I knew you were gonna say something. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, and Jeremy says something in three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> so this is gonna be a kind of a little bit a weird watch along um, because I've never seen the movie, so I don't know what to talk about. I haven't seen any of them either, so we're just... I've seen this once. It was pretty amusing. So Something this... to be noted that uh, the main character has about 11 actors playing him. Wow. Yeah. Oh. At different ages, and also because certain actors from the first movie wouldn't come back for the new scenes. So, Silent Night, Deadly Night was a very infamous film because Santa Claus was killing people with an axe. And Mothers of Milwaukee had it pulled from theaters because it was upsetting children, apparently. Mm. Okay, where... Uh, ruining the sanctity of Christmas. What uh, What minute mark are you guys at? 3, 16. 17, uh, 18, okay, 19. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm caught up then. Right on the dot. Close up to the dude looking at the camera. Screenplay by Lee Harry. The guy looks familiar. I was about to say the same exact thing. I was like, wow. Oh, God. I got to get up and grab a phone charger. Uh, it means I have to take you out again. <laughs> Why didn't you grab pants? Jeremy's like that, you know, news. He's going to be like a perfect, you know, uh, news anchor on the news. Like, and, you know, he's the only one not wearing pants underneath this table. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny. This guy just staring at him. I know. I feel like we're about to like MST 3K this movie so bad. (laughs) (laughs) 
I'm, I could be really mean and put Jeremy up on the, on the, on the screen, but I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> I'm worried my wife might watch this later. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what he's doing over there, but it doesn't look look good. That moment when we do a watch along and we're watching Jeremy. <laughs> you can call me Henry. You can just call me Doc if you feel more comfortable. <laughs> F off, Doc. Yeah. Oh, small times that that orderly hates his job. Yeah, that, that one guy. Oh. Film reels. Where's the Blu ray? Yeah, I don't know why this guy looks so familiar. Jeremy's back. Hi, Jay. hold on. How hold you up. My f- I, I take him off. Is he you good? Yeah, I'm just gonna be under here. Okay. Like for a hot minute. Under underwear. <laughs> under your mom. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Denied. <laughs> the pencil neck. I told you to get out. Pencil neck. The only other place I've heard that is Ghostbusters. Better than <laughs> punch out pencil neck. Don't tell me how to do mine. <laughs> He's just like doing this. <laughs> He's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You didn't say the magic word. Only in like an uh, 80s. Uh, uh. Only in like an 80s cheesy movie. You know, usually it's like, no, 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 no. But this guy's like, <laughs> Take I'm a at- seat, young Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> I, a long time ago, when uh, I was like, after the Phantom Menace was released on VHS, me and my friend did a little like watch along together, like called each other up on the phone. You know, remember, remember landlines? Like, yeah, oh, my parents did. still have one. Really? Oh, that's crazy. We did a watch. We like we watched it. We synced it up and we hit play at the same time. And we both muted our phone, our, our TVs, and we each like uh, were assigned characters, and we just audio dubbed over the movie with stupid things like making up our own plot. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I remember that, but it was something about the golden toilet paper that they were looking for. It was stupid. Um, terrible acting, says Rubdy. <laughs> This is Oscar. Work. Why does he keep blinking? This guy has been in like 18 movies. Yeah. Or TV shows. Like he's been he's been in a Claus. Sorry. <laughs> he was in a TV show. Oh, what Dave. the hell? Commercial. We are at a commercial break. Oh whoa. is this a tag Hold game? Hold on, I'm gonna pause. Oh, you're not in a commercial? No. Oh, I guess you stop. Okay. Oh, that sucks. This is going to be funny. Like, I'm at a commercial. (laughs) This is going to be really tedious. I think, yeah. It's back. Oh, okay. It's Christmas Eve. I'm actor number one. Yeah. Mom, what time is it? This is from the first film. Um, small times as the orderly gave him the Mutumbo finger wag <laughs> in an arrow of no car seats. Why? That's the same scene of the dad. Just look it over, like, oh, shut, the, got- shut up, kid. I was like, where are you guys at right now? They're in the car. Yeah. Eight minute mark. I'm at eight oh seven. That's okay. We're good. we're just gonna be off for the this rest is of the horrible movie, horrible uh watch along. <laughs> did you get an Applebee's ad too? No, I did not get an Applebee's ad. No, I got a Fox ad for the tag. Oh my uh, gosh, what the hell? <laughs> there's there's Santa Claus. Oh, yep. Jingle uh. jingle. It's Santa Claus. Do you think we should wake up Billy? Ah, he looks terrifying. (laughs) 
Oh. And this is why you don't stop. I was about to say, this is why you don't want to be on the naughty list. <laughs> I, I, you can get uh, back on the road, you dummy. Let's see. Uh, Rob D, kid is such a whiner. Yeah, all kids. Yeah. All kids get that way. What it's funny is like there's always been that joke of like the kid going, "Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet?" Well, my five year old, he's in that stage now. When we travel, he's like, "Are we there yet?" And he's like, oh, "I where know." Did you learn to ask that. Oh, no, are we gonna get the uh, the hard R? Uh oh, Santa has pulled out the mom. Kids are crying. Uh oh. Yeah. And uh oh. Oh Close yeah, we're gonna get our TNA for this movie. Close your eyes, Jeremy. <laughs> Jesus. That kid's witnessing his... Oh, ooh. Oh! Santa just slit the lady's throat. Little kid saw it. <laughs> How terrifying would that be as a kid to see somebody dressed as Santa slaughtering your parents? Uh, Braden Nation, do you like the SEN network? Uh, the Schmodown Entertainment thing. I actually I did listen to the podcast for a while, but then I uh, I stopped during the live uh, with this COVID nineteen thing. I just kind of <laughs> drifted off and stopped uh, watching them. You know, I don't like your attitude, <laughs> Lou. You in a hurry, Doc? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is good. It seems like anything that you say to this guy just drives him over the edge. It's like, how are you doing today? He's like, you bastard. <laughs> he should have been Batman. Yeah. I kind of feel like this is like a this would be like a perfect origin for why the Grinch hates Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Santa Claus murdered his parents. Okay, so that's actor number three playing his role. The kid in the mullet. Hey, that's oh, awesome. God, that's, that's your son in Heck the future. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For those of you uh Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a horrible drawing. Santa dead. A decapitated Rudolph. During this COVID-19 thing, we're, uh, we decided for my five-year-old, he's going to have a mullet. <laughs> it's okay, the awesome. main nun, the older nun that's standing up, is the medical examiner when we'll watch Predator 2. She's the one that uh, identifies the Predator weapon that Danny Glover gets. Nice. Interesting. That's bizarre. <laughs> I've never noticed that. Mother Superior. My favorite nun scene from any movies from the Blues Brothers. Oh, yeah. Like with the ruler. When she like comes into the door, like just kind of like hovering. Yeah, just like, don't come back until you have redeemed yourself. <laughs> Whatever happened to his little brother? He is the little brother. Oh. Oh, he is. I thought he was the the little... No, that's the killer from the first one was his older brother. Oh, okay. So that's what happened to the girl from The Sound of Music. Is it? No, I've actually, I've never seen that. Rob D agrees with me on the blood, uh, the Blues Brothers nun scene. I love the Blues Brothers. Oh yeah, me too. Have you either of you seen the sequel? Yeah. Yeah. It's really well, bad. Yeah. The only thing I liked from that though was the uh, pretty epic Ghost Riders in the Sky scene. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense, but it's in there. 
I know it was supposed to like be like like a homage to when they had to pretend to be a country band. Now they had to be bluegrass. And uh, yeah, but um, this is weird. So my five year old has a mullet, and he has that coat. He's actually too big <laughs> for it. He's too big for that coat now. I knew it. I knew yeah. it. This you're probably gonna be connect with you. You're gonna be getting rid of that coat now after this movie. Yep. Son, we don't believe in Santa in this house. <laughs> we, be, we believe in Krampus. <laughs> I like his boots, his white boots. Oh, all right, here we go. Oh, well, you mean Uh-oh. how my? Oh. oh, wait, aren't these the nuns? Well, he's not a nun, <laughs> of course. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, there it is. This little. You filthy devil. <laughs> he's take she's taking his the own belt. belt from from his pants that are not he's wearing and smakes and slapping him with it. Oh <laughs> <laughs> that small time says, Oh boy. Yeah, those kids just <laughs> took off running. I didn't mean to see it. Oh, is he gonna get beat too? That's sad. A weird cut, boys. So, is this the older brother? Huh? This might be I the think... older brother now that I think about it. I was like, I was like, what happened to the other kid? I know that he was the younger kid, I think, just spoke. Then he said, Yeah, he said, but even if, like you said, oh, the older brother was the villain of the first movie, I mean, the kid was only like four or five years older than him. Yeah. Uh oh. Why is he getting beat? Because this is what Catholicism is. He wasn't even there. That didn't make any sense. How would he know? Hmm. Look, guy, he's got two rings on his hand his pinky and his middle, his ring finger. I don't know why I had to look at my hand. <laughs> You're like, how many fingers does a human being have? Joe Pinky. <laughs> Hold on, I think they're talking about his brother. It's the baby, I think. I guess he went to go live with a foster family. I don't know. 13's your lucky number. This is the Royale. Royale. <laughs> <laughs> I don't sleep. Uh, I got a mm. ad now. I got an ad. I got three ads. Dang, gummit. You have three ads? Yeah. I'm watching an ad for Ultimate Tag right now. That's what I watched. I'll hit pause. Jeremy, you want to pause? Yeah. Real quick? Three, two, one, pause. Okay. Yeah, just let me know what. Uh, minute I'm at seventeen twelve, and I'm gonna go I'm grab at, some water. I'm at seventeen twelve as well. Actually, no, that would be a bad idea. Then we'd be really off. Mm-hmm. Now there's a dog. <laughs> there's a dog deciding to watch cable TV or sling. Hopefully, this will sync us back up. Don't you get a countdown on when the ad ends? Yeah, no. it should be in the lower oh, no. right hand. Oh, right. oh yeah, I have add two of three. What? This That's is a weird. disaster. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's the only way you can watch these old movies like for free. I don't know if everybody else hit pause too or not, but sorry guys. Well, small time, I think it's pretty behind. This okay, um, I think this commercial is about to end. Okay, hold on, I'll let you know when I'm at seventeen twelve. Okay. No idea what I'm watching right now. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, I didn't pay attention to the first ad that I watched. Price. Oh wait, here we go. Here we go. Uh, I got my finger on the play button. Okay, I'm at seventeen eleven, but okay, that's fine. You ready, ready to hit play? Three, two, two 
one. One. Okay. Ah, another man. Oh what in the world? It's like a boy's home. Mother Superior. What was naughty? You see that Jesus picture in the back? Yeah. Did you see that Jesus picture? Yeah. That's in our fridge. <laughs> <laughs> the postcard size. <laughs> it's pretty funny. All right. You know, those cool. those restraints are pretty loose. He could get his hand out of that. Uh, Rob D says, the plot of this movie is going nowhere. <laughs> now, the question yeah, is... Straight to hell. <laughs> the point, is this a Christmas movie or is this a movie during Christmas? I don't know. It's Christmas it's in kind of, July. It's kind of like Batman Returns type thing. <laughs> <laughs> you just punch out Santa? Holy crap. <laughs> Poor kid. Oh, the frame rate dropped. Yeah. Hard, hardcore. <laughs> Don't punish me. <laughs> Is this just freeze frame? Yeah. 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 <laughs> he had that Ernest P. <laughs> Whirl look like. Yeah. <laughs> He conveniently stopped as the reel to reel ran out of tape. Convenient. <laughs> because script. It's a lot of tape. He's got to be like the most well dressed inmate I've ever seen. Yeah. He's like, yeah, serving oh, life, but I can still comb my hair. <laughs> I think he's supposed to be in a mental institute. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I'm thinking. I was about to say, he looks like. Did you say, what do you see? Bars. Let's jump ahead. Jeez, every time like he says the wrong thing, he's like. Yeah. Iris Toys. Mother's Peak. Job at the local toy store. Who axe? I wonder if that's going to be can plot convenience. Who has an axe? Oh, it's above a, a fire oh, hydrant. Never mind. Okay. Oh, look at Superman and Batman and Mickey Mouse. All right. It's just the Copyright. third. Right. <laughs> yeah. And try not to scare the little bastards. <laughs> Is that the third actor? Yeah. Does not look right with a mustache. This is uh <laughs> that that poor little girl. I am never taking my daughter to see Santa ever again. <laughs> Where in the world? He knows how to handle kids. Shark kid. Mousetrap? That game? Is that old? How old is Mousetrap? Did 90s. you guys see that board game? Huh? Yeah, Mousetrap. I remember it. Yeah. It was in the background. It's still there. Right there. Mousetrap. This movie's from the 80s? Okay, he's significantly older than her. I'm just saying. There's a nutcracker. Duh. I look at the old toys. Oh god, they're they're being naughty. Yeah. The old man with the jokes, right? Is he drunk? Yeah, he's he's pretty wasted. He kills little kids' parents. He, he's he's going to kill them because they're naughty. Masters what? of the Universe. Oh, Mousetrap came out in 1963. Dang. Dang. So I like looking at these Dang. things in the background. Garfield back there. <laughs> some Halloween Superman. masks for some reason. Batman, yeah. Mickey Mouse. G.I. Joe. Real American Hero. Yeah. Bunny. 
That's when costumes were so bad you needed to actually write down what they what they were. Yeah. Water coolers haven't changed much. No. I love the triangle cups, which are just ridiculous. Horrible. The paper cups. Is that me or those lights above that door just like the most random thing in there? It's their attempt to make it look like Christmas in yeah. there. <laughs> That's the only thing they have that looks like Christmas. He's, All right. It's funny. Oh, there he goes. That man there, oh, there. here we go. More TNA. He's crying. Oh, flash, but PTSD. He sees a... Wow. <laughs> and... All time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> One arm? Gee. Oh, what wow. What the heck? He wrapped a cable around his neck and... The guy has tiny feet. Or they look tiny anyway. Those That's boots. the part of the scene that bothers you? <laughs> no, it, it, his boots look tiny. Very little kid shoes. That's the 80s for you. I expect small time to say, oh boy, every time we see that kind of I thing. I was about to say, like every time we... <laughs> A little beeb. Well, there it is. Did he say punish the me? Is, the thing is, with with the one negative I have to say, since half this movie is the first movie, they're cutting down on the gore because that's what they got in trouble for. Hmm. That's why we're not seeing any like really nasty stuff. Okay. Did he say punish me good? No, was, I like, think he said punishment good. Oh, okay. It's like Santa <laughs> Claus. Ah, that was like, an axe. It's like Santa Claus and the Punisher. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's this really funny uh, Christmas comic I read for, by... Um, Rick Remender, I think is what it was. It's called Last Christmas. And it's a post-apocalypse because Santa has uh, disappeared. He comes back and he just kills a bunch of people. <laughs> so they can have one final Christmas. I remember oh, on Future. Oh, oh, yeah, well, that's yeah. awesome. Just kick hey, the window. Hey. Those are not, uh, trust me. They're not very strong. Grabbing the phone. Are you guys going to have time for that? What is that? Was that alcohol? Oh, see, axe. There it was. Uh oh. Boom. I like I like the um, tacky Christmas decorations. I can't help it. I know it drives my, my wife is like, oh, we have to have the the Martha Stewart look. You know, everything's fancy. When you go to my office at work or like you know around my work area, well, if I'm here at Christmas, I put up the lights where half of them are flashy. <laughs> and half of them are like the trail lights. You know, I just like the trashy look. I think it's funny. No, my parents, my mom is, used to put up four Christmas trees. Wow. It's obscene. A bow and arrow? Are the, who sells a real oh, bow and arrow? Oh, an ad. An ad. Ugh. Oh, oh, pausing, pausing. Man. Who sells a real bow and arrow in a toy, a toy store? store? That's what I was what? thinking. Because the, like, the bow looks so cheap, it looks like a toy bow that yeah. would shoot a suction cup arrow. <laughs> so stupid. Like where did you see how many ads it shows? On the top left corner. Mine we only have one. I guess you're on a, a what is it called? Back to the movie. A Roku TV. I have another ad showing. Ah. Turbocharged. I'm at twenty five thirty five. I'm at twenty five thirty eight. Okay. Oh, ultimate tag. It looks like I have one more ad to play. My little, it shows the little spinny wheel. All right. I'm at twenty five thirty eight too. Road trip. Stupid. I hate commercials. But hey, I like the free movie. That's why everybody got rid of cable. Okay, back. Three, two, one, go. go. Then whose fault was it? It was Santa's. I like how he's got a pipe. I like the pipe. It's that bitch superior. <laughs> was Billy Bean? No. They were naughty. Oh, here we go again. Oh, here you uh -oh. go. Small time. Uh oh. Punish the bad ones. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm at 26.10. I'm at 26.15. I'm at 26.20. <laughs> Is that a pool table? Yeah, they're, oh they're going gosh, at the, it on a pool table. Look How at that tacky tiger print in the back, or tiger painting. <laughs> Small time it, says, oh, fake boy. Oh, fake boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, funny story about that. Um, in the movie Gorilla Interrupted, which is Red Letter Media's first film, they filmed at... Um, uh -oh. oh, here we go. I was like, who answers the door topless? Well, no, she went to open to get the cat in. Well, I mean, still, who? <laughs> Jeremy answers the door without his, his pants on all the time to get this cat in. Uh, He's like, why is he, he has like baby fat muscle. She's oh, no, no. Oh, is that like a little? Oh, no, never mind. Welcome to prime time. <laughs> He's like, I'm coming. I thought he was kind of like, I'm coming to save you, honey, with a pool stick. I mean, in a Steven Seagal movie, he would have killed everyone with the pool stick. I thought it was going to be like a little reference to Evil Dead with the, the deer. Oh, when it turns around and starts like cackling. Why does he look like That's that actor? Dead too. He looks like that actor you were referencing earlier, Jeremy. What the one? Michael guy? Hey, buddy, turn around. From year one? Oh, Michael Sarah? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah. Blonde version. Oh, there he is. Turn around. There you go, buddy. Ew. How oh, man. Is, oh, oh look at that tuck and roll. This guy's actually kicking his butt. Yeah. Ow. I'm kind of rooting oh, for this right guy. In the face. You're, you're getting going. Going. You so guys. You're... This is why you have a gun. Oh, Rob D. No police, kid. They've been defunded. Didn't you hear? <laughs> <laughs> See why you need your gun. Dude, oh. I was rooting for you. You're actually kicking his, holding your own against it. <gasps> you wow. ripped the shirt off. You ripped what the in shirt. the world? What in the world? Oh, through the window. That's getting... Mm. Got him dead. Oh, no. They deserved it. I was like to say, we're treading onto some Halloween stuff here. I kind of want him to kind of look out, and that kid's gone, like <laughs> Michael Myers. <laughs> that light is so terrible. Oh, look, there's Santa Claus. Wait oh, a minute. Oh, sneaking in. The music's pretty intense. What are you? She's just sitting on the couch. What was she doing? Uh oh. <laughs> Daddy almost got his present early. But Billy was. I'm bad. sorry. <laughs> you think they'll see me? That old police car. Pretty cool. He knew the roads, the shortcuts. We're 30 mid minutes into a flashback. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> At least not for long. <laughs> What a stupid line. <laughs> yeah. What's the matter? You afraid? It's Drake and Josh from the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> oh, some bullies. Let's punch and kick them. It, it's like two 30 year olds. They're going to try to bully us. <laughs> yeah, it's like. Freaking Tom McGuire in the Spider Man movie, like late third, like early 30s actor playing a teenager. <laughs> yeah. I knew it. Oh, <laughs> good. I'm only letting you win because the script says. I'm so. sorry. Why did he apologize? Like the bully? See, kids, this is, well, I shouldn't say it. Never mind. Scratch that. <laughs> yeah. Like don't watch our show, kids. 
uh, Rob D. Uh, no, it's Rob D. Uh, small time says, Daddy almost got his present early. <laughs> yeah. Dashing through this now. They literally just stole their sleds to act like small children. Yeah. Are we going to get a good de- decapitation? Oh. Hey, the music is really cheery. The bullies took their sleds. Hee hee. What 30 year old steals a sled? You jerks. Wee. And here comes this kid's head's coming off. I can already tell. Uh oh. And boom, there it goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> Billy hates bullies. Way to go. Would it help if someone said, heads up? (laughs) (laughs) Train's coming. (laughs) Rob D said, yes, Jeremy. There is a decapitation. I'm somehow about two minutes ahead of you guys. Yes, sorry. We get these ads and they slow us down, Rob D. I'm wondering if you register, you have to pay and you get ad free or something. That's probably how it is. It's like with uh, really. <laughs> I love the guy. How he talks. It's just terrible. Oh, yeah. I thought you were legitimately being sarcastic for a minute. Yeah. I'm on mute. I'm reading the subtitles. Oh, really? I could squash you like a bug. Okay, Green Goblin. Some of these lines are just like the, so good. <laughs> No, he, he's like Willem Dafoe in the first Spider-Man. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's like I could squash. Ah, oh, crap! I have look an ad those, starting. Look at all, oh, you have an ad. Yeah, right. five, four, I pause. three, two, one. Ad. I'm at thirty-three ten, so we paused it. I'm at thirty-three nine, so actually, we, you and I are synced. Okay, I'm actually. I only have two ads. Hey, there's that Applebee's ad. There we go. Mm, damn. Now Ooh. just seven ninety. Ever- do you guys ever go to Applebee's? No. I like to not, but my Neither mom I. loves it. I don't go there either. I hate Chili- it. It's Chili's just... is a very rare occasion. Like, really rare. Chili's is spicy Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, TGI Fridays is the poor man's Applebee's. Uh, Olive Garden's Italian Applebee's. Red Lobster Seafood Applebee's. They and, made it. Uh, IHOP is uh, breakfast Applebee's. You know what's weird about the Applebee's ad is that I was watching a Family Guy Christmas special once, and they made a joke about Applebee's with Santa. It was like Stewie wanted to sit on Santa's lap, and then it was like Santa's end of the ship, and then he's like, "Look, I, it's my shift over. If you want to, if you want your kid to sit on my lap, I'll be at the bar at Applebee's." <laughs> Uh, what 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 were you guys at? Thirty three. What? Ten. And he was at nine. I'm at thirty three twelve. So uh, go ahead and play, and I'll. Three, two, two one, one, go, go, and go. Thank you, Miss Piggy. <laughs> Miss Piggy. I'll be right back. You guys okay. keep it playing. I'm gonna miss some good stuff. I know. I feel like this is like a serial killer version of the uh, I'll be home for Christmas movie with Jonathan Taylor Thomas because <laughs> <laughs> he was stuck in a Santa outfit. What? What was that cutaway for? This is Officer Bones. <gasps> is that Peter Weller, RoboCop? Looks like Peter Weller. I'm going to look this up. Oh no, please tell me it's not the wrong Santa. It's like the wrong Missy. That's not Peter Weller. Oh, it's not? Okay. He was in uh, The Dark Knight Returns. Who? Peter Weller. Yeah, he was Batman. Yeah, he played a pretty decent Batman, actually. Yeah. It was Kelsey. The... Oh! Poor de- Oh my gosh. (laughs) 
<laughs> no harm must come to the children, but you tied one to a bed and beat one with a belt. Two of them with a belt. I'm going to defend them with my wheelchair powers. Dramatic music. A wrong Santa just got shot again. Oh, bummer. At an orphanage in front of all the kids. Oh, man. <laughs> the power think... edit of that guy checking the quarters. You know, that, that one movie that I watched that we talked about earlier, uh, Basket Case. I actually didn't mind the music. I kind of liked it. Yeah, Basket Case has got decent music, and it has some great guerrilla-style filming of New York before they cleaned up the city. Yeah, it's pretty dingy. Right before they cleaned up the city, actually. Back when that was that 41st Street was just full of porno theaters and stuff. Mm. And prostitutes. It was a weird movie, but I don't know. I actually the, I, I looked up the Best Case soundtrack yesterday, and they just released it like two years ago. So there's there's like two tracks that I bought. Hmm. I wonder if it's probably on vinyl. I mean, that'd be a cool purchase. It would be. I'm not purchase trying not to purchase anything though right now. Yeah. Me neither. After all these Ghostbuster toys. I was going to say this cop was like unzipping his jacket and I'm like, uh oh, here comes Santa. He was naughty. Yeah, he's naughty. <laughs> A small time. Oh. oh hey. <laughs> Actually, that's pretty good. It was. That sucks. I should probably turn my volume down. My that, ew, bloody <gasps> ass. Ew. Yeah, and he's gonna chop off the. Po- <laughs> Does that count as a decapitation? I was like, poor, poor Frosty. <laughs> I should have started keeping count of some of these things. Uh, that none. It's funny. She's supposed to be so old and decrepit. She's like the same, <laughs> just in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here they come. Uh, Small times. So speaking of Peter Weller, have any of you seen the Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai across the Eighth Dimension? I have not. I have not either. No, don't. Oh, so we're back in... Okay, yeah, we're still in the flashback mode. Naughty. Naughty. You're going to get decapitated in front of all those kids. Oh. Oh, here it comes. Promo. Oh, snap. It's like the third Santa that's got shot in this film. He's the actual killer, though. Bye, Santa, says Rob D. Yeah. (laughs) Well, we're finally finished with, it looks like, Silent Night, Deadly Night 1 at the uh, almost the 39-minute mark. So that makes sense, and that's the older brother, then. Yes. This is all the first film. Okay. Santa Claus is gone. Long live Santa Claus. Long live <laughs> Santa. Long live Saint Nick. <laughs> that carpet looks disgusting. Yeah, it's very 70s. No, well, I'm saying like they didn't vacuum. Oh, yeah, that's the point. It's an orphanage. Yeah, they, like, so, yeah that's up. also very oh, 70s. <laughs> There he is. Naughty. Naughty. (laughs) (laughs) Very naughty. This is kind of like very, I kind of wanted that kid to be like, why so serious? Yeah. (laughs) So this is me, huh? Hmm. (laughs) 
I mean, like, <laughs> the Rosenbergs. Delivery is so bad. Oh, I know. Oh, film reel. City Hall. Small time mentioned. His death was more realistic than Marion Cottrell. Oh, Tally, Tally Al Ghul. Yeah. Wow. Oh. So this is like the oh, fourth yeah, she's actor like, to play this, this main character. She's like, just like my father's legacy will be. It's always the uh, what is it? The uh, it's always, what does she say when she stabs Batman? It's just like it's always the small knives that sting the worst. She is the worst character in that movie. Oh, she kind of had like an Igor voice, like yeah, master, you know. I'm I sorry. I, I thought of I thought of Renfield from Dracula's Dead oh, and loving uh, it. Uh, you must punish me. <laughs> Good master. Okay, that's enough. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's. Been, I've been bad. Oh, you yeah, hear that, that music? You hear that music kick in? <laughs> yeah, I can't hear the music. No, it's on mute for oh. me. Oh God! The... Have you seen that movie, Matthew? Which one? Dracula Dead and Loving It. No, it's, it's Mel, Mel Brooks. Brooks' last movie. Then I need to. It has Dra it has a Galen from Dragon Slayer. He's Renfield. He steals the whole movie. He's hilarious. Oh my gosh! There's nothing there. <laughs> it's like, well, I guess the killer's not right behind me. But anyway, I'm. Just... The music. <laughs> <laughs> Bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do with that? Gonna... But you should hear the music, Adam. It, it's so. Okay, hold on. I'll turn it up. Hopefully, it kicks picks back up again. Exactly how it was. <laughs> Ooh, gosh. <laughs> I guess it's oh well it's gone that's all right i'll I'll go back and watch it later but he's my son so oh, crazy kid and all that he may be crazy but he's our crazy <laughs> dad sounds so Canadian <laughs> My kid too, eh? Hey, <laughs> you tell that son of a bitch for the son. I'm going to kill him. Hey, <laughs> there was one of those jokes I used to do. It was like, you know, can you imagine a Canadian doing the ABCs? A A B A C A. <laughs> or what was it? Uh, it was Rick Moranis, like, and somebody else. They were the McKenzie yeah. brothers. Yeah. Yeah, just, I can't remember what that was. I know that there was like an actual TV show before it was a movie. Is that another I, actor playing him? Yes, this is like the fifth one. It's like the same age as that guy. I know. So he's like 28, 30. That guy looks 40. Playing a 16 yeah. year old. Yeah. Spider-Man. <laughs> Small time. This mom is so 80s. <laughs> yeah. Though they're basically like the same age. Yeah. She's like Jennifer Aniston. She never ages. Why she gonna try to camera? Try to get with a stepmom. Need some time. His delivery is so bad. Gosh, it's awesome. I'm reading the subtitles and I don't like it. I can just see that guy's face. He needed some time. Or here it is right now. Let it out. Let it out. Here it comes. <laughs> so bad. That's like that. That's how he said it. Here it comes. I was about to say that would have been a perfect time to like, you know, 
you know, add in like a fart sound effect or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh god is this another actor this is the longest flashback in cinematic history says small time yep it's... no they just bleached his hair in the front say... yeah <laughs> he's like was this the backstreet boys phase or something oh here we get... this is good stuff right here he was bleaching hair before it was cool uh oh they were naughty Mm-hmm. Oh, look at the the purple flowers up in the uh, the tree. It's like hi, neighbor. It's symbolism. It's like if Mister Rogers is about to come kill him or something, <laughs> or kill them or something. It, yeah, it's a that's a day in, yeah, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> it, Where the people let you meet when you're walking down the street. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's peeking through the trees, like, well, hey there, naughty neighbors, you know. <laughs> We're gonna get. I have a feeling we're gonna get an explicit tag by the end of the night. Uh oh. Get ready, small time. Mm. So are these people in their forties and they're like acting like teenagers? They, they look like it. They kind of have that like, yeah. This is this movie's gonna be our ticket to stardom. Yeah, she she's pretty wrinkly. Uh, she's probably a smoker, heavy smoker. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying she's unattractive. I'm just saying they're not teenagers. Hey, you find out talk about me. He's got a Takati. You kind of find out their voices are ad lib, like the smoker thing. Her real voice is like, "Oh, Eddie, you're such a pig." You know, <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch me there. He's gone. He's on a little trip to Mexico. Is what he's doing. Look at you, Eddie. Little hick. Have you noticed, like, in all these horror movies, like, the there's always, like, the hardcore make-out scenes, but then he, like, tries to make them move, and she's like, not right now. I don't think the time is right. Yeah, like, and judging by how old this girl is, it's just like, not right now. I know I'm 35, but I want to wait till I'm married. <laughs> not right now. I don't need another kid. I've got five of them in daycare. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Are we going to get... Up oh, there it is. Flash oh. PTSD kicks in. Well, this guy looks like he's going to deserve what happens to him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I... He, oh, he's had too many Ducatis. <laughs> His face, he's like, oh, Shirley <laughs> Temple. <laughs> Naughty. Naughty. <laughs> what? I'm getting a beer. <laughs> then I'll be back. Oh, Eddie! You what makes her? What makes you think she's gonna stay there? Just like you stay down there, I'm gonna get a beer and then I'll be back for you. He's like, he ripped we'll, shirt. That's we'll why. get back to this ripen soon. I gotta get another beer. <laughs> it's awful. Jeez. Oh my it's, gosh! He's got his ring, Jeep Wrangler. I miss mine. Sip that, Ducati. Uh oh! Please tell me there's not going to be like he's going to just have like a Santa Claus outfit just stored in the. Are you know how awesome that would be. <laughs> Santa Claus is super. Wait, that kind of looks like what? How did he get in oh, there? Holy crap. Wait, what in the world? That's wait. Uh oh. <laughs> wait, is that an automatic Jeep Wrangler? Oh. That's so bizarre. Did you just see his his uh, face? He was just like you. <laughs> Yeah, they're in their they've gotta be in their forties or fifties. Early fifties. Over and over and over again. Oh, oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> he gets out. He's like, We need Sorry. to zoom in on Adam's face right now. Of just like sure, like bizarre like this is the strangest thing he's ever seen. It it is. Well it, it took me off guard because I was like, Well, how'd he get in that car? Yeah, I don't know. His hand twitched. That's like the best Dukes of Hazard like jump in I've ever seen. Like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't mean to get political here. We're not going to talk about it. That guy, you guys know who Ben Shapiro is? Yes, he looks like Ben Shapiro. Kind of looks like him. Yeah. Like, Did you just um, say thank you? I think so. I did. I was talking over her. I'm sorry. He's like, 
He's kind of looking like he's contemplating whether he wants to kill her or not. Yeah, it probably is. They're like, eh, one's enough for the day. He's like, ah, justice is served. <laughs> Red <Cat. laughs> Is this where he's like, oh, I thought it was like that same character planning out like his supervillain montage where he tries to like make his costume or get all of his gadgets. Uh oh. Going too fast for you, Doc. Red car. Good point. <laughs> Are you have it mute? Are you still muted? Adam? Yeah. You're kind of delivering it like he is. Oh. Like the no the like the way it's like red car. Like is how he said it. <laughs> Married then, huh? Everything he says sounds the same. It's got that like Yeah. I'm mean. I'm a killer. Hold on. Too bad. <laughs> Too bad. Rob D says yes, she did say thank you. When he killed her. It killed the, the drunk. So I got a job. Dude, have you seen this before? I have not. You're I saying it just like he did. I've seen. I'm just guessing. I normally, whenever I get a new job, that's how I say it too. You're like, I got a job. You got a job. <laughs> you can work at the Walmart. Wait, this know? is the same <laughs> actor. But we're finally to the correct actor. It only took like... 45 minutes of flashbacks. Jeez, and like most of Batman begins. Oh my god, is this going to be some progressive thing going on? Where's this guy's face? Listen, listen, I got a line on something. I can feel it. (laughs) That's the face I make when I take a dump. That one right there? Yeah. The guy on the left or the right? Yeah. Left. Yeah, um... oh. <laughs> Cause you enjoy it too much, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> He's making the same sounds he does too. Is he punching and you in the ass? This guy looks like a reject from a 1940s Uh-oh. private detective film. Yeah. No one murders anybody here except me. Naughty. Yeah, it's number Red. four. Oh. Red's my favorite color, too. His shoulder. What are you looking at, kid? Get out of my way, kid. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know what happened. Did you just pick him up and yeah, toss him? I think he picked him up and threw him. This is why you never run your mouth off. <laughs> uh oh. Small time. This lone shark has the best faces ever. <laughs> oh, look at that face. Oh my god. They're like. Oh, wait. Uh oh. <laughs> Good. <laughs> make it rain. Blood. <laughs> I like his face with the umbrella. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Naughty. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna say I think that's Jeremy's more realistic face. <laughs> yeah. yeah that, that's me after um Taco Tuesday uh, or something. <laughs> yeah. Eating some burrito bandito. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was a pretty good kill. I don't think it tops. That the, looks like uh, the Umbrella Corporation logo. And yeah, it yes, it has to rain almost immediately after that. Well, they gotta wash the umbrella somehow for the next take. Yeah. <laughs> How strong is this guy? Asked Rob D. It's gotta be. He's got that strength, man. That crazy that guy Santa, strength. That Santa strength. <laughs> Santa oh, strength. I, I got another <laughs> ad starting in five seconds. Uh oh, I'll be I'm getting my fingers Three, on the pause button. Two, one, pause. Pause. Got it. Fifty four twenty nine. Okay, I have two ads, so it's gonna be fifty four twenty nine. You see there's like some sort of like gross stuff on the umbrella right there. Ooh. Yeah, that's what the toilet looks like afterwards. 
<laughs> we need to like just like when you do stream snips of this, just like edit out all of Jeremy's all the laughing. <laughs> Jeremy or, just, or just like Jeremy's all of Jeremy's dialogue is just gonna be beep. Oh, this is great. I like doing this like late night horror uh Watch we need, we need to MST three K it and just be like you know like all show all of us sitting in the back. Oh oh okay I'm back I'm at fifty four thirty. Okay ready to hit play everybody. Yeah, three uh, one Rob Rob D he's at fifty four forty four. All right we're gonna hit play. Ready three mm-hmm. two one go. What in the hell? Rob D, we're at fifty-four forty-one for two, for three, for four. Forty-four. They just sprayed him with a spray bottle. Yeah. B. B. <laughs> Don't you forget about me. I was gonna let him get away with it. I had anticipated. No way. What's wrong with his eyebrows? Uh, Everything's got to be like this. Jeremy, punishment. I'm reading The Approaching Storm. (laughs) It's like someone said, okay, think Clint Eastwood, but psycho and go with it. Yeah. Psycho and drunk or something. (laughs) (laughs) That's my review of The Approaching Storm. (laughs) (laughs) Each. Oh, that's a weird one framing. Yeah. I don't mind it. No, Doc. Tell me. It's like today, one of them would be out of focus, though. It, The J.J. Abrams, like, fade. You know, yeah, that, that's pretty common. They actually teach you that in film school. Some celebrity. She signed it. That's our actual headshot that we got it's, before we uh, cast her in the movie. That's what it looks like. Jennifer. Jennifer. I kind of want to hear this guy say Wolverine's line, I'm the best there is at what I do. Oh, uh, look at speak. I mean, he's dressed like Wolverine right now. Oh, and the. Why does he look like a 50s greaser? I was about to say, like, is he on his way to his grease audition oh. or something? He's got. He just fell over. <laughs> okay. That's the world's slowest fall off yeah, a motorcycle I've ever seen. End. I was gonna say uh, this. This scene's gonna end up like this. You don't have insurance. Did Naughty. you hear that music? Yeah, that was that's some porno sounding right thing that right there. Like a, that's the that's a fake saxophone. That was funny. <laughs> Rob D. Matthew, after seeing this movie, they need to make a movie about you immediately after you read Queen's Barrel. Yeah. <laughs> If I see Queen, I'm a dollar. It's naughty. <laughs> I don't have my scissors up here. I was gonna. Well, I guess her car was too broken, so he had to give her a ride home on the motorcycle. That's like '80s Uber right there. Oh, hi, complete stranger. <laughs> she's like, I don't know. She's like, I don't know you, but you look like that guy from Greece. So I trust you. That music. That music is like. I kind of like it because it's so cheesy. It and, sounds like it's on the cheapest Casio keyboard ever. Yes, yes. Like you hear, like they're trying to be like, "Oh, make it like a, make it like a clarinet or a flute." Okay, I could do something romantic. They bought it. It's a Fisher Price keyboard. <laughs> it kind of sounds like those tracks that you would play like at night continuously just to go to sleep. Mm-hmm. Oh, just do like a fade from black and white, kind of. Uh oh. Oh my gosh! Small there's consent. What a first. Oh wow, we're we're getting. Where's his I, naughty? I was about to say I'm waiting for small time, and there'd be like, oh boy. <laughs> I'm waiting. Yes, yeah, small. Time. Ooh. They aren't doing anything. Now they are. 
Are they? Or are they just laying on each other? Yeah. <laughs> he don't, he don't want to be naughty. Santa oh. come get you. And there's her butt. Yep. Okay. Um, Jeremy, close your eyes. Yeah. Man, just... oh, there time. it is. <laughs> Small <Small> time. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Shit, Rob D. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, now, nowadays uh, she would me to him. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, so this is what it's like in the Disney movies: meeting true, <laughs> true love at first sight. <laughs> the motion picture you've been waiting for. I want to see this movie. <laughs> Look at his face. He's like. What movie is it? Whose voice is that? That sounds like that guy. What movie are they talking about, Jeremy? I don't know. I want to know. It sounds like an act. It sounds like a war movie. It sounds like a war movie. It started. He's kind of has that Mr. Freeze from Batman and Robin. I hate when people talk during the movie. <laughs> yeah, you get the obnoxious guy back there. He's just staring at him. You got a problem, pal? That's probably the director who has his hands in his face. And he's like, I'm, he might as well just be wearing like a I'm with stupid shirt. <laughs> That guy? Yeah, look at that mustache. That's definitely the director. On the left, yeah, on the left. You're weird. You're weird, yeah. but you have a rocking body. And for some reason, you destroyed my car with your tiny motorcycle, even though I knocked it over. <laughs> what year did um? Okay, this came out in 87. What year did uh, The Empire Strikes Back come out? 80. 80, okay. Uh Uh-oh. Good (laughs) lord. That don't make any sense. (laughs) Small time. My oh boys are homage to Scott Bakula in Quantum Leap. Every time he gets a dicey, in a dicey situation. Situation. I have a lot of those books. I need to read them. It's the first movie. Are they referencing the first movie in the scene? Punish. Punish. Must kill people. Wait, they're watching the Flash? (laughs) She's watching the movie unaware that that guy yelling it back is probably getting his neck snapped right now. So did that... Wait, this this is still a flashback, right? Yeah, that's the precursor to the... Wait, what the heck? That guy looks familiar. He does. I'm gonna... I thought that was... Kind of like... Little Mark Hamill-ish? Yeah, I was thinking of that too. Uh, Let me see. What's his name? Chip? Yeah. Of course, that guy would be named Chip. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys ever see the movie Screwed? Yeah, uh, a long yeah. time ago. I love that movie. Norm Macdonald and uh, Dave Chappelle. Chip. That Dave Chappelle. He's like, never trust a black man named Chip. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. Wait. Movie this movie or... looks 10 years older than Empire Strikes Back. It it, it does. Well, that's because Empire Strikes Back was uh, owned by a man who believed in remastering his films every five years. This guy <laughs> is in One Nation coming up. Oh, it's a short film. (laughs) 
Rob D, he ruined her best sweater. Oh my. Yeah, that dude has looked like the artsy fartsy, uh, the mustached man. What yeah. the heck? Uh, oh my god. They got a kiss. Naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, he's banging the guy in the back now. What? So tacky. This is this conversation has gone on way too long. Did he just say oh no? I'll be waiting. I mean these two are better actors than the main actor. That's true. The main actor has the greatest faces I've ever seen. Yeah. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> Garbage day. Naughty. <laughs> no. <laughs> he said it like that. It's just like, no. Get out of here. No. I like this movie. <laughs> Request denied. Ah, ad. Ah, okay, hit pause now. 105.23. 105.22. What, what, where were you at, Jeremy? I don't remember. Our ads should have synced up. I'm paused. I'm at 105. Wait, we, only, we only have 20 minutes left of this movie. Oh, it's flying by, isn't it? Yeah. I kind of felt like we were quiet for like five minutes watching this film. Mm-hmm. All right, back on. Okay. All right, hitting play. Three, two, one, go. I'm at an hour <laughs> five. Oh my gosh. 105.38. Oh Rob D's ahead of us. I was going to say. When I press uh, play, it start off with the subtitle. There's a certain spot I'd like to show you. Like, uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Small time says, "Sorry, I ruined my your roommate's robe." Forced. <laughs> <laughs> oh this guy looks like what's his name from Ghostbusters? The real Ghostbusters with the blonde hair. Yo, Egon. Egon, yeah, I was like to say, he looks like cartoon Egon. He does, without the glasses. That's enough. Yep, right there. Listen, bud. That's what she said. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he kind of looks How like... How'd you fall? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Oh no. Yes. Oh no. Now. Oh, his tongue. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Volta Chai. He's still Is holding that- on to him. So. He's not doing a very good job of fighting. Oh, that okay. That's a- because he's turned into a prop. Yeah, he's he's turned into a dummy. And head it will explode in three, ooh. two. Oh, ooh. Ooh. His eyes got exploded. It. What are you doing? I was about to say, she's kind of like reacting like I feel like if any of us were in that situation, we'd all be like running from this guy right now. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh man. <laughs> I like her for that. Yeah. <laughs> well, just wiggle your tongue a little bit. <laughs> yes. Oh, here we go. Okay. Why but... does he have his okay. okay? Look at his how crooked his hat is. Yeah. Enter like enter Barney Fife. Yeah. Hold on right there, sir. Wait, who is that? That guy looks familiar too. Why does everybody look familiar in this movie? It's like 
Is it Ron Howard? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. That looks like Star Raptor. <laughs> <laughs> well, not anymore, it doesn't. I think that's it. Oh, it's getting kinky. Barney Five says small time. <laughs> oh. oh. Ouch. Oh, that was pretty obvious why you had the hat that crooked. Yeah, Rob D also said he's holding on to him yet he's not getting like, electrocuted when he uh, <laughs> killed the one guy. He steals the cop's yep. gun and be like, I like this thing. The music. Oh, we're getting to it, Matthew. We're getting to the famous line. Yeah. You don't want to turn up your volume, Adam. This is the famous line. Ooh. <laughs> Can I just yell mother effort? Yeah. <laughs> Was that the famous line? No, it's coming up. I think. Right? Yes, here it is. Here it is. Okay, so I'll be quiet. You know what sucks about all this, Matthew? Tomorrow is trash day for it us. Is, it is for us, too. Garbage day. Garbage day. Oh, no. Uh-oh. He doesn't kill kids, though. That's okay. Garbage day. <laughs> uh oh. Why is he laughing? He is crazy. He is crazy. Okay, has anybody counted how many bullets he's had? Oh, oh my god, god, that almost hit him. That the vehicle almost hit the actor. Yeah, I was about to, oh, and the car just explodes. Of course, it's it, it flipped it? over. It's a pinto, I was about to right? say he sh he should have ran out of bullets like three, it's a pinto. three, three, three shots happened? ago. He's laughing. Yeah. He had, was that a five five or six round? That's a six shot. That's a six. Smith & Wesson Model 29. So he shot the guy that came out and said, what's all the noise? He well, shot he shot the cop. cop. He shot the guy that said, what's all the noise? He shot the gar. He, the, he did the garbage day kill. And, and then, then he, he shot, shot the, the uh, radiator. And then he missed twice. That's six. That's oh, six. okay. Garbage day. Garbage day. <laughs> so he should be out of bullets. Yeah. But he's admiring his new pistol. Yeah, uh -huh. He likes it. Drop your weapon. <laughs> <laughs> there's your new ne there's your next Joker. He's just like <laughs> Guns clicking. So the, uh oh. No. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> you have so much to live for in a mental asylum. And it's click. Click. That's where Homer Simpson's like, <laughs> no. <laughs> so now we're caught up. All the flashbacks right. done. We're fine. Yeah, there's, there's like 15 minutes left of the film. <laughs> Garbage day. Garbage so day. <laughs> okay. You know what I have a hard time believing? Him? <laughs> well, I mean, it's this he this guy is obviously really strong, but like two cops were able to take him down. Yeah. He's such a bad actor. Like, I'm sorry to say. Oh, he's just the worst. I mean, the eyebrow movement. Oh, he hams it up. He, he, this is the definition of overacting. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, jeez. 
He appreciates I appreciate the, the effort, out. though. Yeah. Oh, God, he's loose. He's loose. <laughs> that one held out for a little bit, Adam. He's like, he's loose. <laughs> kind of like the music there a little bit. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> They're just packing a body behind them. <laughs> Why are they interviewing her at an act of police oh, crime I, scene? That guy's revolver looks like it's about to fall out. Yeah. Yeah. I, oh, I have an ad starting right now. Okay, I'm pausing now. I'm at 114.05. Okay, I only got one. 114.04. I only got one ad, so it won't be long. Uh, Rob D says, uh, yeah, six shots after he shot the car three times. And small time, young and stupid, he looked exactly the same age. <laughs> Wolverine type young and stupid. This movie's great. I, see, I, I don't, what is it about these crappy movies that is fun to watch? The, um, well, they play it straight. That's part okay, of uh, why they're so funny. Okay, uh... I'm at 114. That's where I am. 114.05. Oh, hold on. I'm a little bit behind. Hold on. And okay, I'm caught up. Okay, uh, ready? Yeah. Three, three, two, two, one. 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 Go play. Give a dollar for the kitties. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Give a dollar for the kitties. <laughs> Give me $20. Give me $20. I'd like to give a little something to Santa. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, man. Did he, kill the, did he kill the Salvation Army guy? <laughs> Is there going to be a freaking severed head on top of that? Never mind. No, that would have been funny. Santa yeah. wants you to give a buck for the children. Garbage day. The T on that, too, is weird. Weird font. Oh, why am I paying attention to the font? Oh. We're we're getting to this is this is random. I've pay phones, you know, pay phones. Yeah, we yeah. have like one in the town. I've been trying to like every time I see like the little box to where they should where they should be, it's always empty. They've removed the phone. <laughs> Santa Claus is coming. To Merry me. Christmas. Who is this? <laughs> <laughs> it reminded me of Dylan for some reason. Oh, geez. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh, what the heck? Why is she disfigured? What? Why is her face messed up? Wait, is this somebody? Right? Right? Didn't he kill her with an axe? No. No, he got shot before he could do that. That's right. The, yeah, that's right. Yeah, the brother. Mm-hmm. That's weird. The, the giving her face cancer, is that why? Your leprosy? <laughs> in, in America? That's very doubtful. It's the annual Christmas parade. Rob, do you Santa wants to give... <laughs> A small time. Is she Palpatine? <laughs> she Palpatine. She's showing her true self. WTF the nun. <laughs> hey, Rob D in small time. Have you guys seen this movie before? Doing that. What is that game called? Hopscotch? Yes. Before the days of the video game. Ah, oh, the yesteryears of Scott Hopscotch. And a small. Sa I used to have a Ooh. Santa like that. Oh, mm -hmm. really? Yeah, that toy. <laughs> it just, oh it no, Santa's humping the ground. <laughs> <laughs> D has not seen this before. Why does she have two glasses out? Does she two fisted? Small time. I've never heard of this franchise before. <sighs> six, six, six. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's 
Six six six. Is that her face? Is that why her face is the way her face is? Uh, here was it. We have a here's Johnny moment right here. Yeah. You know, he's just being a jerk killer because he can easily just rip that whole door down. But he's just like, Psh. here's Santa. <laughs> You're oh, only one light bulb. Did you see that? How does she get upstairs in a wheelchair? Hurry <laughs> 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 are. How did she move that whole entire shelf in a wheelchair? Hey, look, there's another one of those doorknobs. <laughs> he- <laughs> it goes throughout the last half of the movie, just going click. <laughs> that was close. All right, that was completely really <laughs> random. What I said, me and Jeremy. What were we talking about? I don't knobs? know what you, you said. I don't know what brought it up, but you were talking about these doorknobs, and I'm not, and how you love them. Was that in a private conversation? Yeah. Okay. I was like, I can't remember where we talked about the doorknobs, the crystal like doorknob. Hmm. Why didn't he just do this in the first place? Like, just chop down the door. Why is that door just made out of particle board? That's the doors. real question right there. Cheap doors. <laughs> I love a chase. <laughs> he's going to find out. I don't know why they care about it. They were nice. That is the bluest TV I've ever seen. Uh-oh, 666, Waru's going to show up. That's right. <laughs> She's just, just like... <laughs> roll out. Come on, roll out. She's, she's doing the stealthiest um, wheelchair rolling I've ever seen. That, uh, what is he? <laughs> I've never seen overacting like this before. Nuns, roll out. You can make it, Mother Superior. Connect to another room. It's a small time. Some houses have weird design. Oh, closets. It has up. one of those uh, chairs that goes down. Okay. And it'll go down really slow so she can get. Uh-oh. Okay. That's <laughs> <laughs> one way to get out of it. I'm really mad now. Wait, what the heck? His will his his axe is stuck in the fabric. Yeah. Okay, she's got her. God, that's the, the grossest face. Did she have a spare wheelchair at the bottom of the stairs? Yeah, because you can't. You have to have one for upstairs and one for downstairs because you can't wheel them up and down. Oh, okay, okay. If. <laughs> <laughs> Silly. It's a weird looking faucet. Yeah, it is. Like, where's the? It's like, where's the water come from? I don't. I can't. I'm trying to see that too. I can't see it. Oh, I just can't get over that face. <laughs> He's just like oh. peeking, and we're like, "Hey, uh, are you out there? If you are, let me know." So oh, I can that's, step. that's my bad side. <laughs> you kind of look like Popeye, Matthew. You're like. <laughs> <For spinach. laughs> Small time. She had a closet. Oh, yeah. I already read that one. You are weak, just like your brother. Uh oh. If you're not afraid, then why are you running? Okay, that's a different actress. Yes, it is. Uh oh. A significantly worse actress. A lot older looking, too. You're looking well. <laughs> She's like. You're looking well. I am your mother superior. My name is Inigo Matoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Prepare to die. (laughs) I am mother superior. You killed Santa. Prepare to die. Stop. This guy needs to stop with the eyebrows. (laughs) Naughty this. Naughty this. Yeah. (laughs) Well, <laughs> she literally. Go ahead. 
when I was a kid, I had a cop car toy that looked like that. I actually had it uh, just until last year. And then my kids broke our to- broke that toy. Did you beat them? No. I was like, all right, well, I guess it's easier to throw away now. You said naughty and you pulled out the axe. You actually had four children. Now you don't naughty. have three. Naughty. Naughty. <laughs> naughty. I poked myself in the eye. That kind of hurt. Yeah. Oh, the train's coming again. Oh, she's dead. Her head's going to roll off. Oh, dude, that would be awesome. Well, you know what I mean. And there it goes. <laughs> yep. Oh. <laughs> Shoot him. And then he just appears. Oh, he laughs. Then he's hurt. Adam's a couple of seconds ahead of me. It took two bullets and a shotgun shell to even hurt this guy. Yeah, buckshot. Yeah. He's going to like wink at the camera or something. His, His eyebrows, eyebrows are going to go up and do some weird thing. He's going to. Did? He's going to be like. No. Garbage day. See you in the next movie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dag nabbit. What? Oh, it's it's over. <laughs> oh, all right, spontaneous ending. Wait, he oh. wakes up, and then it shows his hand coming with a knife. Right? All right. Yeah. What? That's great. That was a great film. This is going to be like a new series on our channels, where we're just like, okay, today's terrible movie is <laughs> after the after show uh, watch along. Yeah. I want to thank the guys that uh, participated in the watch along. Uh, Bob D. Sticking around and commenting the whole time. That was At this point, quality is going to co- wake up and like just watch it in an hour. Oh, yeah. yeah. But wait, what time? He's eight hours ahead of me or seven hours. He's uh, like eight o'clock, isn't he? Right around there, yeah. Like 8.30. <laughs> Rob D., that movie sucked. <laughs> yes. It was kind of fun though, right? I mean, okay, Rob D small time, you guys are still here. Do you guys ever sit down and just watch like terrible movies like that? I I do. Get, like I said, me and my wife just found these like, you know, Adam told me before about these things and I forgot, but we just rediscovered them, I guess, uh, and and watched these uh, tacky movies like Chopping Mall, uh, Basket Case. <laughs> Uh, cellar dweller just fantastic horrible movies that are just as bad as that movie that we just watched i want to see if they have that film that uh i thought was actually decent pretty decent and pretty scary so and i want to recommend it for you and your wife uh matthew okay now i can't remember okay small time small time and rub d are you guys both in the united states um I wonder if um, I wonder if that that Tubi is available in Germany for Rob uh, for Quality Autism to watch because I think I think Dragon Slayer was on there too. I could be wrong, or that might be uh, Pluto. Pluto is where I saw Dragon Slayer. Okay, Tubi has Highlander. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah, they do have it, by the way, Matthew. Um, and I would highly recommend checking this out because this movie is actually hard to find from what I saw from a movie reviewer I subscribed to. Mm-hmm. And um, it's called Lake Mungo. Lake Mungo? M-U-N-G-O. It's actually, it's actually pretty intimidating. Lake Mungo. Lake Mungo, yes. Add to my list. I'm probably going to make me a register. 
You need to sign in. Well, actually, I'll just take a screenshot and beat your system. <laughs> I did. He both and Tubi watches the stream. Oh, is that how you're going to play? <laughs> Small Time and Rod are both in the U.S. Okay. Yeah, I would like to get Quality Autism's take on uh, Dragon Slayer, if he'd ever watch that. Uh, Small Time and Rod D, if you guys haven't seen it, I can't. And you, I'm pretty oh. sure you guys were there for the paper movies. I can't remember. I have a horrible memory. Uh, he does have a horrible memory. Yeah. They uh, they have Left Behind series in these movies in the in Tubi. Oh, I watched. Okay, yeah, I watched um, Revelation. Horrible, absolute horrible movie. I I've only Nothing, seen the first one. It's it's it, uh, no not the, it's not a Left Behind movie. Okay, it's if you're looking at Tubi still, it it, it has like a guy like in the poster with big red eyes, and then you know a couple other people underneath that. It was so bad. I had no idea what was happening. <laughs> hey, Jeremy. Hmm. You know what's also on Tubi? Shark Attack 3 Megalodon. <laughs> I bet I'd take you home. Oh, no. no uh, You're, you know what? <laughs> but if you look at the cover art at it, the shark has red eyes. Like They're making it look like it's some devil shark or something. Okay, I got to look this up. I got to go back to Tubi. The shark um, attack movie. All right, I gotta bounce, guys. <laughs> to get out really early. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for joining me, Jeremy. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for having me on. Um. Like. Well, Adam, should we just call it a night then? Yeah, that works for me. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's like one, one twenty-six, almost one thirty. Um. Thank you very much, guys, for joining. Yeah, thanks, thanks for, for having, having us. us. Yeah. I, thought I, had, I had a lot of fun on this stream, and Rob D and Small Time for sticking around the whole time. It's great. <laughs> we'll, we'll definitely have to do this again sometime. Um, yeah, snakes on a plane. I've never seen. Have you guys seen Snakes on a Plane? Yeah, yeah, it's not even that funny. It's just annoying. Okay, so it's like that. What we talked about, like, oh, it's just they're trying. It's funny to- because Samuel L. Jackson's in it, but that joke is over like yeah. within ten minutes. Yeah. Okay. Um, Rob D, evil, and Dead End is on Tubi. Dead End, okay, I'll look that up. Uh, There's a movie entitled Fart, a document documentary on Tubi. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to revisit these later on. Um, but yeah, okay, guys, thanks for joining. Uh, check us out. You know, Brian's Nerd Pub, Super Chainsaw Productions. Go subscribe to them. Uh, have a good night. Right. Say your weird thing, Jeremy. Garbage day.